Dude, I love the Sotopolis City theme. It's so good. No way, hey, what's going on? Happy Friday. Happy Friday. How's it going? All oh, let me pull this down a bit. Yo, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What's up? Let's see up y'all. Hi, Gator. Oh, hey, hi. How's it going? All right, anyway. Let's get down to business. Happy Friday. How's it going, oh? How is everyone doing? Let's get to the game, obviously. Pokemon Emerald version. Here it is. Probably. Potentially. Might be the last one. Uh-oh. I hope that... Okay. I think, yeah. This is a, this is a recent enough... Yeah, no, no. We're good. We're good. Ignore that. Ignore that message that was there. Anyway, what's up? So we're back with Pokemon Emerald. Yeah, potentially the last uh, stream for a while. Or last Emerald stream, right? <laughs> because, um... Because it done just about everything. Any everything. Uh, we're actually going to spend the beginning of the, uh, the stream just a little bit grinding. Uh, just a bit. Just to make sure you can take on the uh, Pokemon League. I did a little bit. I mean, if anybody, if anybody watched the Mawile video, if anybody watched the Mawile video, you might know that, um, well, that there was footage of of uh, battling Pokemon in uh, Victory Road. So I happen to get a few levels there, but I think we really want to pull most everybody close to level 50 on the team. Uh, but let's recap that team. So we're doing all green Pokemon here. Got Mossy the Breloom. This is going to be the final team we take on the league with Mossy the Breloom. Echo the Flygon. Pato the Ludicolo. Verde the Sceptile. Kambu, the Kecleon, and Platino, the Tropius. Uh, so yeah, we gotta we gotta get those levels. We gotta get those numbers up. Uh, so yeah, let let's just chill out a bit, and we're gonna we're gonna just uh, get some get some rematches in. Should I battle anybody and everybody? Because like for any little levels, or try to really? I I think I really just want to get most people like. In the later, on the later routes, all the triathlon people want to battle. Oh, we can also get um, can also get some battles against uh, what's their face, the the interviewers. What do you have? All right, we'll start with a we'll start with a bit of that. We'll start with a bit of that, and then we'll we'll warm up, get that warm up. So nice stretch, some nice stretches. Uh, I think they should be around here right now. Hello there! It's not gonna be finale. No, it is gonna be the finale. Because there's literally nothing else to do except take on the Pokemon League. Well, obviously, you know, just gotta train a bit more and take on the Pokemon League. And then, of course, there's all the post-game stuff, which uh, I don't know if I would do all of that on stream. Especially because we're very far through April. And then it's gonna start May soon. Yeah, the true Emerald team. Exactly. Emerald Green. Exactly. Perfect. Oh yeah, they're not they're not even at a max level yet. We'll get them there. Either way, what luck? Uh, because they max out at 45. That's a good. That makes a that makes for a pretty good, pretty good training. Let me also pull up the Pokemon League's teams. All right up for Emerald. Let's see. I don't think we'll have too many issues. I think I already got the game plan. I already got a game plan going. Wallace, Wallace doesn't stand a chance. Not at all. This is part seven, you'd usually fight right finale. Well, I mean, if it turns out to be the finale, I'll change it later. 
definitely gonna do Battle Frontier in the contest. <laughs> hey Gator in chat, hey how's it going? Happy Friday. We're mad chilling, we're mad chilling, we're grinding, we're doing we're doing some extra training before taking on the Pokemon League. By the way, if anyone's uh, just popping in, because that's a plan. That's a plan. I think now, no, they're, now they're going to be like level 36, I think, because I think they gain like, start to get three-ish levels every so often. Dark green, best color. I like, uh, I, I mean, I would say that. I like emerald green. That's a good one. Favorite color, I think I'd probably just say, like, blue. Maybe not a specific shade, but just, you know, something. Mm, I mean, I do, I do, I've come around a lot more to aqua, because that's the brand color. That's the brand, you know, the, the, the Gatorx thumbnail color. <laughs> so I've really come to like that. And obviously, you know, the way it is, is, um, it's that way because, you know, that's the Totodao's colors. So I would say that. But oftentimes, I honestly just like black. Black goes with everything. Polis. Let the people be hurt. For what? Oh, for finishing? What, for doing more? I mean, potentially, but I, I have some other stuff I want to move on to. If so, maybe it'll just be like, oh, we'll do Emerald stuff later. Just because it's like, oh man, yeah, this is what, seven weeks? Seven weeks of, um, Pokemon Emerald at this point? So I'm like, ooh, I kind of want to, I kind of want to play something else. And hey, thank you. Oh, I didn't mean to walk in here. Hey, thank you, Justin Dows, for the, uh, membership. Renewal. And you can, yeah, that's right, when you when you do that, when you renew a membership, when you do that, you can put a fun little, a little message. Uh, so, message here, we got, says, um, Did you notice that the Pokemon anime was probably called Pokemon Advanced because it was a console po uh, Ruby and Sapphire was first released on? Yep, definitely. I think it's really interesting. I think it's mostly the, is it, is it mostly the English dub that's called Advanced? Because I think the, you know, obviously the original... The original, you know, Japanese version, I think it might just be called, like, Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. Uh, don't like that miss. I think, you know, something along those lines. Also, Sky Uppercut's cool, but it's like, what, 85 accuracy? After you finish, I remember we play Pokemon Diamond. Nope, unless you got a capture card I can use <laughs> for for DS. Not going in, I mean, you know, obviously not going in chronological. Can play Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. That connects to HDMI super easy. Gold's your favorite. Should put an amulet coin for extra money. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Uh, do I have it? Where do you get it from? My favorite color is the color of Trap Inch and Houndour's face. The burnt orange terracotta. Ooh, that's a good one. That remind, reminds me of uh, Lentimus Town in Pokemon Black and White. Or Pokemon Black 2, White 2. Peak Town. <laughs> yeah, it's called the Advanced Generation. Haha. Uh -huh. Alright, at least they're max level now. Man, they level up fast. They level up real fast. Uh, let me see, do I have an amulet coin? Oh, I didn't come across it. Where do you get it? That's a great question. Do I'm just gonna I'm gonna run these a bit more. Let me. What does Kombu have? Oh, you know I realize can Kombu just learn regular flamethrower? Cause that'd be really funny. That would be really funny if it just gets like flamethrower, like regular flamethrower. And it, I mean it got fire blast. It had fire blast for a bit. Okay, what Groudon was thinking, finding Kyogre region that's mostly known for water. Oh, it's it called Advanced Generation in Japanese. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure I saw, like, a logo also said something like Ruby and Sapphire. Like, probably Ruby, Sapphire, Advanced Generation. Also, you know, it was like the way it was like, oh, the mixing things up. Totally get it. Yeah, Pokemon TV. What? 
Call of Duty Ruby and Sapphire, but we know like advanced generation is better. Yeah, I, I always just refer to it as like Pokemon Advance. I, I gotta come up with better, better names. Or, okay. And I think this will do it. I hope you like this week's Pokemon spam. Yeah, they were pretty neat. Pokemon Advance, Advanced Battle, Advanced Challenge. Some of the favorite seasons. They're good ones. I gotta do some more rewatching. The one Flygon's second favorite Pokemon after Blaziken. Yeah, yeah, the Gen 3 Pokemon. Never forgive the dub for not giving the full song of the Advanced Challenge theme. What, like the, the dub versions of the... Like the Advanced one? Ah. Like the dub theme songs? I really like the dub theme songs. Those do... They do those really well. At least, you know, for a while. You know, honestly, even like the newer ones aren't bad. Either. I feel like, you know, a good amount of them sometimes will take like time to get used to them. And obviously, you know, if you're watching them a lot or if you're if you end up binging, right? Then you end up getting used to them or you'll you'll get it all stuck in your head. Let me check here. I think I might have already used a good amount of my coins. Actually, do I have a flamethrower TM on me? I got ice beam. Could always go fire blast again. Thirty-five. Oh no! I, yeah, I have zero coins. Haha. <laughs> All green team. Yeah. Hey, thank you, Legend Greninja, for the blue super chat. Wait, I can. That's right. I can heart a super chat. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. It says Pokemon Advanced openings are your favorite. I do really like them. I think the, um... You know, honestly, the first one... It took me a while to get used to it. But, um... The, f the first one, it took me a while to get used to it, but I do really like it. The others, uh, what is there? There's, like, Unbeatable. That one's so good. That was one, right? <laughs> Now, I, I want to go, I want to go and, uh, like, really, really just listen to all of them again. Alright, yeah, let me give you back, uh, do I want to keep Substitute on you? I don't know. Let's at least just stick Fire Blast here. You played Emerald, you always get lost in water when trying to, uh, or get to the final gym. That was something I was definitely scared of. Ethan. Oh, also, hang on. Uh, thank you again, Legend Greninja. Much appreciated for the blue super chat. See, that's the best color, that one there. That's the Totodile color, the Gatorx thumbnail border color. Uh, usually, when we get a super chat, I, I read a funny drafted tweet that I have not tweeted yet and probably should maybe delete. I don't have a lot. Let me see if I have anything while we're going here. Mmm. Well, oh, I gotta read one for the member, for the member renewal also. Um, it was just one tweet I was kind of thinking to myself. I said, uh, am I like the largest channel that somewhat regularly talks about Pokemon Masters? Because I think I might be. I know there are a handful of, you know, channels that like, they only make Pokemon Masters content. Um, but I think my channel might be the largest that like mentions it on, and I don't like talk about it all, you know, every week. <laughs> or obviously not every video. But... Every so often, I think at least every month, I end up making a Pokemon Masters video because it's like, the way I treat Masters is like, you know, obviously I play it and I open it up and log in, get my dailies. But uh, when it comes to like content for it, I think mostly I'm like, you know, if there's something interesting or something that like I find kind of neat or curious, then I'll go ahead and make like a video about it, especially because like, you know, I think it's really fun, all the character interactions in it. Uh, let me see, do I have another good tweet? I don't think I have any other good tweets to read. Uh, oh, the, what is it, the Pokemon About Me was going around, right? It's like, oh, you know, favorite starter, favorite Pokemon, favorite shiny, thing like that. I started writing that, but I didn't finish it. Uh, but obviously, you know, you can, you can imagine my favorite Pokemon is Totodile. Favorite starter is Totodile also. <laughs> uh, my favorite shiny is actually Bagon. So I'll say that, I'll say that for now. 
What about y'all? What's y'all's favorite? What was it? The, the it was it was kind of like a little tag tweet, and it's just like you know favorite Pokemon, favorite shiny, favorite starter, favorite type, favorite region, favorite game, uh, favorite regional variant, favorite anime, favorite evolution, and favorite legendary. So I gotta finish. I gotta finish making that. <laughs> Because, you know, it's a fun little thing. The only problem with advanced generation anime is making played every five seconds. That's the best part. <laughs> Battle Frontier Advanced Battle, your two favorite. I really like all of Johto's uh, openings also. I, you know, the first one, it's great. It's a bop. It's... It's fun, it's bright. Um, I also like the, oh, was it was it the second one? That was basically a re, not a remix, but it was like basically the, li the lyrics are the same as like the original theme song, but it's like just redone. That one I think is really cool. And then, um, what's, what's the third one called? I forget what the third one is called. Oh wait, you can even leave likes. You can even just leave regular likes on a super chat also. I did not know that. I, just, I hope that doesn't make a meta, that doesn't make a battle of who can get the most likes. I wonder if there's a way to keep track of it, that'd be funny. There are probably some other things you can do, which by the way, I don't have, um, if anyone's wondering, I don't have alerts on the screen, because I want to potentially use footage from this playthrough uh, later. In other, you know, if we end up replaying like other Pokemon games or going back, or ones that I already have footage of and I don't need new footage, then we can go ahead and uh, use the funny layout. We can, you know, we can use funny layout and, um, and alerts. I'm gonna do, like, a, maybe one more round of these battles and then potentially... I wonder, what's the best way to, like... What's the best way to really grind? Because I don't think too many people get... Pokemon higher than level 39. I think I think that works out. Yeah, what is that's very it's really interesting. What is the best way? Yeah, I think most oh <laughs> nice. The funny crit. No, I just saw what it said, but I uh, can get the amulet coin. Oh, from your mother after defeating the fit gym. Okay, we'll fly back and get that. Thank you for letting me know. Because, yeah, then that'll let us get um, get some other things. Speaking of Frontier, Frontier Brain Annabelle. Uh, was she returned in Lola anime during the Ultra Guardian arc? Yeah, that's right, because she came back in the video games. I think that was kind of interesting, you know. Decided to bring her back that way. You know, I really wonder, like... Well, it's, it's been a while since we've seen things like that, but, you know, I think it'd be really interesting to bring back other Frontier Brains in the same way. Of, like, what, you know, um... Heck, could have done in... Well, I actually, Legends Arceus, right? Brought back Ingo. Which, well, he's not a Frontier Brain, but, you know, he's, like, the, the Subway Master, right? That's... That's pretty funny. I feel like they're just gonna do that. Oh, I didn't even have mom's number. There we go. Yeah, I think definitely we're gonna want to give the amulet coin to Mossy. That's the most useful in this little grind. Honestly, probably should have done a little more off-screen or off-stream grinding, which, uh, like I like I said, I, I did a bit because I. When I was looking for a mobile for this week's video, I ended up just, uh, you know, running around in uh, Victory Road, because you can only find them in Victory Road in this game. And so I, while it, you know, while I was looking for it, I ended up just battling every, like, every uh, Leyron and uh, Loudred that I could find, because, you know, you can knock them out really easy with fighting moves. So there's that. Rayquaza is always your favorite legendary. I don't know what I would say my favorite is. I, well, I really, really do like... 
Ultra Necrozma. I honestly would say I think that's one of my favorites. I do like Deoxys. Uh, Rayquaza is cool. I don't know if the legendary is what I say. I, I gotta pull up the list and bring them all out. Just wondering if I had a game plan for moving or for removing the HUD. Figured it was technical. Oh, for which one? Oh, for the um, the layout. Oh, that yeah, yeah yeah that that was it. Mostly just you know, for footage. But I I will bring it back because uh, if I end up doing another like hey let's play this old game or th let's play this game using this kind of team. If it's one that I already have footage of. Now obviously, I, you know, when I move on to Fire Red at some point, probably some point during the summer, that's not going to have the layout or anything. Because I won't have that nice. Um, I'll probably play Poke Park 2 at some point, And that's another one I probably also wouldn't do it. Honestly, eventually I got to do something with my copy of Let's Go Eevee. Um... I feel like maybe I'd need some kind of layout for Pokemon Ranger because it's, you know, it's one that uses two screens. So you'd need to like orient it in a in an aesthetically pleasing way. IDK. If you bring back if you bring back Animal, you might as well bring back Looker. <laughs> no, keep bringing back Looker. I don't understand why I stopped. I think it should have been like the one character that appears in every Pokemon game. Because, yeah, I had him um, Gen 4, Gen 5, Gen 6, Gen 7. Yeah, really? Wow, yeah. Yeah, he was on a whole streak from, like, yeah, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then to not bring him back in 8 and not in 9. Well, it's, it, it'll be interesting to see what happens in uh, Legend Z8. But uh, point is, yeah, I, I think that he, he is the character that should just be in every single game. Like, every single post game, honestly. When you saw Annabelle in Pokemon Sun, you're like, you look familiar, have we met before? <laughs> mean <laughs> Mr. Hyde. Oh, you Gabby and Ty will give you close to a hundred or oh 10k Poke Yen every battle. Ooh, that's good. Because yeah, then that adds up pretty close here. Let me keep an eye. Yeah, 74. Alright, alright. Hi! Hey, how's it going? Happy weekend. Yeah, hi, welcome back. I did give you the amulet coin, right? Yeah, yeah, you're holding it. You need the funny two amulet coins. Yeah, it's that we can never use Ultra Necrozma again. <laughs> soon. The time will come soon. No, oh, someone was calling. They want a battle? We'll see. Wish Emerald got a game on 3DS like Ruby Sapphire. I think that... I think that it works out enough. Because, you know, obviously they included kind of some Emerald stuff into Oras. There was even more that they could have done, obviously. Like, you know, include so much more Emerald stuff. But, uh... I, I, think, I think it was done well. I don't think I'd want another game of, like, you know, what, a whole Delta Ep Emerald game by itself. But it's like, you know, if we could have seen more stuff from Emerald just brought into Oras, that'd be cool, too. Yeah, Looker connected a few generations. Exactly. I like when they do that. Yeah, Gen 8 had no returning characters. Well, Sword and Shield had none. Because Generation 8... You know, uh, Legends Arceus is Generation 8, and that had, a, um, you know, some returning characters and just a bunch of, like, the the ancestors, the Echo Fighters, right? <laughs> and then I guess same with uh, Gen 9. Is that, yeah, Gen 9, there are no returning characters, so far at least, or, or Scarlet and Violet. There are no returning characters, but there are a bunch of um, relatives of previously known characters. And I at least like that they're doing that. It was mo it was mostly in the yeah in the the DLC stuff, cause uh, what well, we got Lacey, Drayton, and Perrin. Are those the only those the only ones? 
Yeah, those are the only ones. I really want to see what new Pokemon regionals and Mega Evolutions we can expect to see. Very excited for it. Yeah, the Legend Z. I wonder how soon it'll be until we get more news on it. I think maybe we could see something else in June. Maybe, because usually Pokemon hits June with, um, you know, maybe a little direct. Or not direct. A po they don't do directs. Pokemon Presents, right? So I think it's possible we'll get something in June, but I don't know if we'll see gameplay so soon. Um, possibly... Again, we don't know when it's coming out. Uh, you know, coming out next year, but don't know what part of next year or, you know, what time next year. It's possible. Uh, I mean, you know, we, we a lot of us probably just want to say, like, oh... We would expect it to come out, like, early next year. Potentially around Pokemon Day or before Pokemon Day or something like that. I mean, it'd be really interesting if it comes out, like, summer next year. I think, I think it's possible that we see, like, some promotional images for Legend ZA, or at least, you know, just some, get some hints or get some tidbits about it. Obviously, next Pokemon Presents, they're not gonna, like, not mention it, but I don't know if they would show, they probably wouldn't show, like, a full-on trailer so soon. I think that, at the very least, in June, maybe we can get, like, a rough estimate for a release window. And, and, yeah, like I said, promotional images, or, like, more, or, like, maybe, um... Uh, interviews with the with the developers, I guess maybe. That's at least my prediction. The next Pokemon presents probably gonna happen June, June, July-ish, and I think that we'll get like just a little reminder. It'd be cool if they, uh, you know, bring up some other spinoff games that could be happening this year. Why was Blossom not given fairy types? <laughs> Nothing special to it at all. Should be given the fire type because it's the sun. You know, it, it evolves with the sunstone. <laughs> it would have been perfect to get uh, Phoebe and Alola, but nope. That would have been a good one too. Alola did have a lot of other returning characters though. Because he had, you know, obviously um, red and blue. Mina was there. Um, Colrus was there. <laughs> Wally showed, Wally Cynthia showed up in the battle tree. Also, uh, who else is in Alola? Uh, obviously, Looker Annabelle. Uh, and all the evil team leaders in the in the uh, Rainbow Rocket thing. So yeah, Alola already had a lot, so I'm like, I'm, I'm not at all, uh, not too disappointed in like, oh, you know, who we didn't see. Yeah, so curious about regional variants. I think we'll probably see some, because if we got some in um, Legends Arceus, I'd assume they'd add some for Legends uh, ZA. I would assume Grass Monotype? No, Green Monotype. <laughs> green only. Also, Verde's at level 47. That's looking pretty good. Oh yeah, that's right. I was going to pull up everyone's team. Yeah, gosh. Sydney's Pokemon are level 46 to 49. That's kind of a... Uh... That's kind of, um, it's kind of big. There's some big Pokemon. Oh, gosh. This might end up taking a while. We'll, we'll hang out. We'll hang out for a bit more in this grinding, and then, and then maybe, honestly, I'll take them on, because I, you know, you can still, uh, we can still take them out being a little underleveled. Is it Kalos of ZA not going to be known as Kalos? What would the new name be? I feel like maybe it would tr probably just be known as Kalos. I, I Again, you know, there's the whole thing about, like, the whole thing takes place only in Lumio City. We'll see what happens with that, but... Uh, I think, honestly, if we get regional variants, you, what if you just call them, like... <laughs> Lumios variants, right? I could see that happening. Like, that being the name. Yeah, something along those lines. Yeah, we're not even sure if there's going to be an anime for Legends EA. There probably won't be. Because we didn't get anything for Legends Arceus. We got, like, the little special that 
had little flair of Legends Arceus, but then did nothing really with it. <laughs> um, it ended up being more of like a Diamond Pearl anime special rather than a Legends Arceus special. You see the, the bedsheet bug? Oh, I think I happen to see it in the no notifications. I'll take a look at it later. Yeah, Lum Lumo Lumosian. Lumion? Luminion? Lumosian Luminion? <laughs> I could, yeah, I could see that being the name, something like Lumosian. Yeah, I think the fact that they just said 2025, other, unlike other games in the series, specified time frame year, means their intention is just to get it out at some point in 2025. I mean, with the DLC recently, we had like pretty vague release windows. Because, um, yeah, I think we had like more solid release dates, or like announcements for the Sword and Shield DLC. Meanwhile, the Scarlet and Violet ones were like given more like, oh, yeah, around this time. Around this time in the year. Uh, and even then, I think they ended up coming out technically a little earlier, or like really early in the window. Because, um, yeah, originally it was just like, oh, uh, Teal Mask is going to be fall of this year, uh, and um, Indigo Disc is going to be winter. Meanwhile, uh, Teal Mask came out in, like, September, which is, like, barely the beginning of fall. And uh, Indigo Disc came out, like, you know, mid-December. Again, you know, right at the beginning of winter. So I think they're just, you know, giving themselves some decent time, decent leeway, or, or whatever. Legends Arceus was also, like, pretty vague, because they just said early 2022. It'll be interesting to see what they end up doing. Which one's Dark Type Elite 4 from Unova? Oh, which one? Grimsley? Yeah, whenever it's ready. It'll be interesting. I, th I think that's mostly what I'm looking for, like, forward to. In, is um, I just want to see what else they happen to put out. You know, obviously not not Game Freak, because it's like, okay, Game Freak, go ahead, work on Legend ZA, go right ahead. But I mean, like, the Pokemon Company in general, like, I want to see what they happen to put out. Because I feel like we could get a game, um, because I think of, I think back to 2015. In 2015, we did not get a main series Pokemon game, because uh, they ended up doing, like, there was one every year up until that point. There was, like, you know, 2011, uh, 2012, and then 2013 when they moved on to World Ride releases, and 2013 was Pokemon XY, 2014 was Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, uh, 20, and then, you know, later on, right, six, 2016, Sun and Moon, 17, Ultra Sun and Moon, 8, and so on and so on. Uh, and then even now, right, Pokemon still hits a big release for the main series games, at least, with uh, DLC. But... 2015 was the one game where there was no main series Pokemon game, but there was still a decent... There, there was still, like, a pretty significant spin-off game, and it was uh, Super Mystery Dungeon. So, what I'm saying is, is I think that we this year, I think that they could announce and release a significant Pokemon game for the holiday season. Because I, I feel like they're still going to want to try and hit that window. And I'm, I'm not going to expect anything from main series games. But I'm, I'm feeling that it could be possible. Like, So, wild prediction. Wild prediction. June? What if June, they're just like, Hey, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon is back. And it's getting a game this year. On the Nintendo Switch. That, that's like the big... That's like the big prediction. Right? Because then, you know, it's like, oh, the Pokemon IP still gets a, a holiday release. Meanwhile, Game Freak can just hunker down and work on <laughs> work on Legend ZA for next year. I, I could see it. I, I know some people were also predicting, like, some, some people are going wild and saying, oh, we're, we're getting an Ilka game this year. 
We're getting an Ilka Pokemon game this year. <laughs> that one's also pretty wild, but I think that makes more sense. What I think my my prediction makes a little more sense. Maybe not Mystery Dungeon specifically, but something. I'll, I'll just say Mystery Dungeon because, you know, it's been a while since we got one. Um, we got... Uh, oh, we did get one in 2020. It was a remake of, um, you know, Red and Blue Rescue Team. But it was a good remake. And it proved like, hey, look, we have a style that works out. Uh, the game functions. It's a good, you know, it's a cool remake. And it shows that, like, hey, look, we know that we know that Mystery Dungeon is still around. We have we didn't forget. And I was I was thinking I was expecting that to lead into some. But now, you know, say that was 2020. So now it's like it's been a good amount of time between then and now. So I, I honestly think that it could happen. I think we could get a Mystery Dungeon game this year. And of course, you know, it would be like a big thing. It would like be a big deal. So it could, I think it could definitely like, I don't know what the sales normally look like for the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games, but I feel that, you know, if they're not releasing a main series game, develop a Game Freak this year, I think it's still enough of a, you know, a reason to be like, hey, this is the big game we're promoting. This is what you guys should check out. This is what you should buy. What do we think, chat? Let me also catch up on chat. Did I hear about who's playing Shadow? I did. Yeah, Keanu Reeves playing Shadow. See, what's funny is, uh, the other day, when, uh, so I woke up, and I just checked Twitter, and I was like, oh, um, there are rumors about Keanu Reeves playing Shadow, and it was all just, when I was reading it, it was just the rumors. Uh, and then I went about and did stuff, and I was working, and I went to work, and too. And then how I ended up finding out it was confirmed is that my dad was scrolling on his Facebook, and it popped up. And he sees that, he thinks, oh, Sonic the Hedgehog, let me tell Josh. He's like, hey, did you hear about this? <laughs> and I'm just like, hmm? And it was like, oh, yep, confirmed. It's like, alright, okay. Or it is confirmed, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Grimsley gives you the Sharpedo ride pager. Oh, and, uh, oh, that's right. That's what, sorry, that goes back to the discussion we were having. Yeah, Grimsley's another one who appears in, um, in Sun Moon. Surprise, Kanto starters never got Paradox forms like a Sword Shield, give them Gigantamax forms. Well, I, it makes sense, because I don't think Paradox is, like, because the Paradox ones are, like, completely new Pokemon. Like, Walking Wig is a completely new Pokemon. It, it just looks a little like Suicune. I don't count Paradox forms that on the same level as like Gigantamax or Mega Evolutions. Because they're not. They're they're honestly they're literally they're they're probably on the same level as Ultra Beasts. So that makes sense why they wouldn't get it. A year of shadow <laughs> better be good. No, they mistreated Shadow in the 2010s. Shadow. The music in this game is the GOAT. It is so good. Like I said, I the Sutopolis City theme, one of my favorites. It's it's vibes, it's pure vibes. Ilka prove they can't make a good game. Nah, Ilka proved that they could make a a game exactly the way it was. <laughs> Me and just want more Poké Park. I feel like it's gonna be a while, or I don't know how likely it is po for Poké Park to come back. I mean, um, obviously, you know, what Poké Park was made by Creatures, right? They just, they just, uh, Creatures just released the game, the uh, Detective Pikachu. And yeah, I feel like that's what they're working on now. Like they'd rather just work on uh, Detective Pikachu stuff. Oh, and obviously, you know, they managed the trading card game. Hang on, is that right? I believe so. Poké Park. Yeah, yeah, it was creatures. So I, I think I think we'd get either another Detective Pikachu game before we get Poké Park, or you know maybe they'll move on to something else and start a new little make a they'll they'll make a new little franchise or fr a series I guess 
Okay, Kombu, do we need, hang on. Are we gonna need Pato for, I don't think Pato's gonna be able to do too much against the Pokemon League. Okay, so against Sydney, we got Verde for Sydney. For Phoebe, we got Echo and probably a bit of Kombu. For Glacia, we've got Mossy, Verde. Against Drake, we got Echo and Pato. Well, when we give it Ice Beam. And against Wallace, we got basically everybody. So I'm going to take that and give it to... Hang on, did we give you Ice Beam? I think we did. We did. So I'm going to give you the experience share. And hold that throughout the Pokemon League. I think we're actually getting relatively close. Let me Let me get one more round in and then I'll see where we stand after that. Yeah, because it's not even Game Studio. Yeah, yeah, they do like other, like little things. Yeah, small parts of games. Make companion apps. So they're good at that. It was re real interesting to... For BDSP. Yeah, Moment Game Freak post a Breath of the Wild spends seven years <laughs> on his spectacular open world experience. Let's go. Okay, made the One Piece game that looks great. Game Freak made do terrible things. And they just said, hey, we're making Legends Arceus. Can you make something? Can you put something out? Can you like remake this? We're gonna we're gonna make this other game. They're like, say no more. If we get another Detective Pikachu game. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what creatures is. Well, we're getting the new uh, Pokemon TCG game, the mobile game. So they're probably working on that mostly. So I don't know what I don't know what's next for creatures because by the way, if you don't know creatures, who own who partially own Pokemon. Uh, they're the ones who, they made Poke Park. Uh, they handle the training card game. Like the, you know, the I, I believe the digital stuff too, a good amount of it. Um, they also put out the Detective Pikachu games. What else did they do? They did a handful, like, the point is, is that, you know, we brought up Poke Park. <laughs> so, it's like, oh, I don't know if they would make another one so soon. Because they just released Detective Pikachu, the second one. What else did they what else did they do? Dun, 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 dun. Creatures Inc. Games. Oh yeah, they assist in a lot of other things. Let's do that. And that as usual. Because when we get the crit, it's really funny. Dark green is what they developed. Oh, they do. Oh, whoa. Well. They did... Well, really? Creatures did? Pokemon Ranger Shadows of Almia? They assisted in the other ones. Really? Did they do all of them, then? Yeah, they yeah they did assist. Oh no, they were sole the developer of um, Guardian Signs also. Okay. Hey, <laughs> maybe that's next for them, <laughs> right? And the first one. Oh, okay, the first one was put. The first Ranger was done by Hal, with assistance from Creatures, and then the second and third were solely Creatures. It looks like. Okay. Yeah, and then they did Poke Park. They did the Pokedex apps also. Yeah, Detective Pikachu. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any Dusclops fans here? No, we're all Iskin. Holding out theory uh, that they freed from Pokemon Horizons is Ash's dad. I, w I don't know if he'd be his dad. He's obviously meant to, like... Freed is obviously meant to, like, resemble Ash a bit. 
It's me he's meant to be, he's a, oh, the Echo, he's his Echo fighter. <laughs> Man, I'm just gonna keep using that term forever. Detective Pikachu forever. Where Detective Pikachu gets a new sidekick and is directed by Joel Schumacher. Wow, well, I don't know. Which side would win in a war? Paradox Pokemon or Ultra Beasts? I don't know, Ultra Beasts got Guzzlord. But Paradox Pokemon go absolutely crazy. Especially, uh, well, actually there's a lot of each of them here. Let's see the balance. I think it's either a matter of like, hey, for Diamond and Pearl remakes, we're making a completely different game in the center region. However, we also want a standard remake. Can you guys remake it one to one? Yeah, one to one recreation of Diamond Pearl in 3D. Yeah, that's basically just what happened. I don't mind BDSP for the sole fact that Legends Arceus exists. I mean, if you wanna, if you wanna, an official way to play Pokemon Sinnoh. I mean, hey, forty bucks or so for for BDSP or rather than, you know, however much for a copy of Diamond, Pearl, or even, you know, <laughs> Platinum. It's not a bad compromise. Let's go. Yeah, a while ago, I discussed uh, many Pokemon spin-off games could have. It said Zoo Taiku ones. Would you really like that? I mean, I'd try it. I'd play it out. I just haven't, like, done much of those kind of games in a while. Uh, you know, I played the Zoo Tycoon games on the Nintendo DS, because I was, you know, that was when I was like, oh, I have a Nintendo DS, we're only gonna play games on this, because that's all I have. And that, those were funny. Uh, I mean, honestly, the Jurassic World game, what, dang, what's, what's the... What's the park builder for Jurassic World called? Why am I forgetting the name? That always seemed kind of neat, but I just never got around to playing it just because it's like... You know. Time sync. I would definitely try out a Pokemon, something like that, if they made it. Hey, they should just call it Safari Zone. Because you know, like how in, uh... What do you call it? Because you know, like in, um... Heart Gold and Soul Silver. How they have the safari zone that you can edit. Just do that. Do that and then you can um then then you can make it uh you, you can make a game like that. Because it's like well I mean just take that concept. IDK, something like that. Oh, it was called Jurassic World Evolution. Thank you. That's true, that was the name. I know it's on Switch now. Was it on PC as well? I'm not sure. Alright, I honestly think maybe I could... I don't know if I could even dive in. Can I dive in at these levels? I'm gonna be under level. But if I get through one run, actually... That's still... It's still experience, though. How do people... How do people manage these... How do people manage these levels in these games? Oh, I was trying to check my money. Okay, I have a decent amount. It'd be pretty neat. It'd be pretty neat to have uh, the experience all. At least I have one experience share. That kind of makes it a little better. No, oh, no, wait. I want to do this. We can get flamethrower. And I think really that's just what I want. I'll get flamethrower for combo. Uh, so that we can have it up front to make these battles go a little quicker. Because then we can flamethrower magneton and then uh, punch, punch the explode. Does it learn Flamethrower? I mean... If not, I'll just give it to, uh... If not, I'll stick it on Flygon. Oh, you can. I think I would rather on... You, because Echo has...
Well, that's a good question now, actually. And what does Flygon's special look like? I don't think it's very high. 95 to its regular attack. Oh, well, it's higher than combo. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. I'll just give it to Flygon. Flygon can be a mixed <laughs> attacker for this. Yeah, you don't need faint attack and crunch. Save. 2020 playtime. I can stick some levels on Flygon, which unfortunately I don't think I should use Flygon against Drake. Unfortunately, I don't think I should. Yeah, I'll do I'll do a few more I'll do a few more of these battles against the interviewers, and then I think I think I'll probably dive in. Battle each train on each route. Be doing great. I mean I. I did that. Oh no, we didn't do the extra route to the left, right here. Oh, we'll do that, duh. Yeah, let's do that. I think it actually works better if you fly downward from uh, Mount Pyre. That's a great idea, thank you. Who said that? <laughs> Me. No, um... Let's do this. I don't think they're gonna be super high level, that extra route that's here. But, um, I mean, any anything is anything. And we can pick up the items out of there also. Yeah, full green team? Yeah, let's go. Yeah, has significant easier time on Crystal than with X. Ooh, I would like to replay Pokemon Crystal sometime. That'd be a stream. Don't like Sword Shield, not gonna lie. Fair. Home is like, uh... It's like, we heard you want a Pokemon Z, and you want a Pokemon Mario Maker at the same time. So here we go. <laughs> Hulk Ant-Man Taco meme in Legend ZA. That'd be really interesting to see how much control we have over, like, the actual development of Lumio City. With ZA. <clears throat> I don't think there'll be too much, but... It'll be real interesting. Uh, I doubt we're gonna be able to customize Lumio City. Yeah, imagine the facilities you unlock will always be the same progression. I, I would like to see at least some little customization. Be neat. Well, you know, the li just the very, like, in Legends Arceus, just the small thing of like, oh, you can give some Pokemon to NPCs, you can leave them here in the village at some places. That already is like, uh, an extra little thing. You know, because I, I know there are people who would really want to just have shinies all over the, all over the town. Let me use this. I don't think anyone wants to battle. We already battled them. Why am I getting a call from Ducktown, Tennessee? Uh, let me keep... We get... Well, Mossy's gonna be good against... He's also gonna be helpful against Sydney. So I think we'll keep her up front. 2020 look in the rear view. <laughs> <laughs> Gator X panel himself a back can't breathe. <laughs> no. <laughs> Speaking of reporters, remember another Gen 3 game stream we made to say something about the models or something? No, it was the uh That was the what do you call it? I don't wanna Dang it. I feel like there are trainers there. Hey, yeah, what are you up to? I love grass type Pokemon. Do you have any grass type Pokemon? Oh? You like grass type Pokemon too, don't you? Sappy, you can have the. Oops. TM19. I check trees with grass type Pokemon. <laughs> like an adopter. TM19? What the heck is 19? Oh, Giga Drain. <gasps> I don't want to use it though. Heck, am I gonna need cut to do anything? To actually do anything? Here. Let me see.
Oh, okay, you had an extra move slot, thank you. Not this route? Why, what's wrong with this route? Fun fact, all Dark-type Pokémon... Wait, all Dark-type moves like Bite and Crunch are special? Yep. That's right. They are. Pokémon's the greatest sports anime. <laughs> Not wrong. Oh, sweet. Double battle. The item printer's literally gotcha. I know, isn't it great? I love getting rare Pokéballs. My luck can't be beat. Green Pokemon gaming? Yeah, exactly. Helping backwards transfers are permanent. Oh, fix your moving forwards? Oh, you mean like being able to put a, a Pokemon you catch in Scarlet Violet into Sword Shield if it's there? If so, then yeah, that's a great... That's cool. I like that you can do that. Now it's time to visit the Berry Master. Go. Alright, level 30 Pokemon, not bad. Have you heard of Emerald Kaizo? Yeah. Ah, uh, hang on. Which uh which cast form form is your favorite? Ooh, that'd be a great ooh, that'd be a good poll. That'd be a good poll to to post. Cause also you know, some of you may have seen them on the community tab, but I posted uh some polls. And I think I'm actually gonna try to do that more often. Just, you know, like a fun little, hey, which is your favorite out of these? So, what, what did it do? It did the um, Deoxys forms? There's going to be another poll this Monday. Is that something I used to do? I actually used to do um, a while ago, because it's like, oh, Monday. Um, Monday morning, go to school. Hey, before class starts, let me post a poll on Twitter. But I would be on Twitter. But now, uh, you know. Now that the community tab is uh, a thing, and that is pretty cool, I'll just do that. Oh wait, no, this is like... Uh-oh. Ducktown? Oh, half the route has cut trees, so okay. Yeah, also fight everyone on this route. Need to go down it four times. Oh, we can, uh... We can do that. Oh, can you say... Wait, wait, can you say challenge contest super hustle to the berry master? <laughs> what? I actually love the synchro machine. I really feel like what I really, really want to do, what I really feel like doing, let's do the Pokeathlon. Let's do the Pokeathlon in heart gold. Yeah, yeah. Hello? Oh. <gasps> A rare candy. <gasps> Ooh. Here, let me get off the bike. That's gonna make it a little hard to navigate some things. I oh, wanna meet the Nimona sister. She was mentioned and never seen her. Maybe we'll see her in the anime? You know, maybe I should be picking every berry <laughs> that I come across. Why aren't why am I not? up it. Hail form, hail form is the best. I like, um, I kind of like the sun form just because it's like, I like how bright and round it is. It's kind of cool. Secret machine machine is fun, closest thing to mystery dungeon on the switch. Let's go. Rare footage of Reloon doing damage on the 40 base power grass special move. Well, these guys are little. Want to meet Nimona's parents? I don't want to see their speculation that uh, all the Glitteratis are them, but don't think so. I, I wouldn't think so. I think they're just some extra rich people. I feel like there would have been, like, more hints toward it. Let me pick those berries that I saw here. A great battle, challenge, contest, overwhelming, Latias, cool. Oh, those are the phrases for the... For the berry master. Oh. Oh. 
Yeah, if you tell Berry Master certain words to get rare berries. Some of which you can only get doing contests and finding rare Pokemon. Oh, I see. Alright, we'll keep that in mind. Plot to know. I don't feel like... I don't feel like walking through the grass. Please take care of it for me. Please take care of this grass. I don't want it. <laughs> I don't like it. Man, maybe I should have put Cut on it. If only I had a Pokemon with Hyper Cutter, because I think the radius is a bit bigger. There we go. Oh. Mount Pyre, where the spirits of Pokemon sleep. Will your Pokemon sleep? When there are no trainers around, I let my Pokemon battle each other. I watch them. Yo, we got the other, we got the duo, the goth and the nerd. <laughs> Let's go. Zangoose. I forgot you can do that. <laughs> Just cut yourself out of the grass. Yeah, exactly. Uh, okay, cool. We can do this. And we can do that. I remember finding this feature as a five-year-old kid. I thought it was the coolest thing ever. Yeah, I, I want to cut down all the grass in every Pokemon game. No more grass. No more. Dun, da, 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 da. Dun, da, 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 da. Dun, da, 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 da. Dun, dun. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, ba, ba. Okay, sorry. I was just checking something on my phone. Uh, so Viper and Shuppet. it. Well, unfortunately, we can't mock punch the Viper. We can still crunch the Shuppet. it. I feel like there's kind of a difference between Goth and Evil Witch. True. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> no witches. No witches allowed. <laughs> Only the real, only the real no ones will know. Only the real viewers, the real chatters will know. No witches. Sweet. Okay. Oh. Well, we can battle you. Want to determine how strong you are? I'll be the test. I, yeah, I feel like this route is very different than it was in um, Ruby and Sapphire. <gasps> Mawile! It's, it's, it's the thing! The thing from the video! The Mawile, the thing from the video! Stop posting about Mawile! <laughs> I'm tired of seeing it! Uh, Pelipper. Oh, hey, we got, we got Thunderbolt here. No glitches. What, that can make a veil, vile, oh, a veil threat to your Pokemon? Oh yeah, will your Pokemon sleep? Ultimate Gamer Challenge, Pokemon Game Marathon, but if you touch grass, you lose. <laughs> oh yeah, you can't get past Route 1. <laughs> it would be funny too, you, uh... Oh no, you, you need the gym badge to use Cut, never mind. Yeah, you need to bring that back and be cutting the grass. <laughs> like a link in Ocarina of Time. Yeah! Do that, yeah. Let me let me cut the grass in Scarlet and Violet. Mawile, the Mr. Hides video. All right, Fire Blast, don't fail me. I mean, it doesn't really serve much of a purpose in the newer games. Yeah, since random encounters can be replaced with the symbol encounter. <laughs> let me just here. What we really need, just let me just add a feature. To where I can just punch, uh, where I can just punch Tauros without ever having to, you know, so that it doesn't get close to me at all. So I can't battle it. Just let me stop Tauros. Let me, let me use Psychic to pick up the Tauros and throw it out of here. Oh gosh, can I get back to that? 
Oh, I need... Yeah, I do need to go... Oh, okay. You do need to go backtracking here. It's the thing, Mom. In real life, would have guessed that Mawel could be... <laughs> no, it isn't. Who said that? No one said that. Stop. Get out of here. Stop. Uh... We can rock tomb the Electrike. The Mawa video came in feed, assume it'd be like the Gardevoir video. It's confused. Nah, I gotta mix it up. Different thesis, completely different thesis. Different title, different thesis. Different topic. It was baited. It was baited. <laughs> I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything with Mawile. I, I alluded to things in Gardevoir video. Mawile, I literally just said like, "Hey, it's Mawile." That's literally all I said. <laughs> I'm not at fault. Uh, technically, <laughs> knowing martial arts is super effective against all normal types. <laughs> oh yeah, you can battle the. You can battle the. What do you call it? What, what's his face? Yeah, can't you battle a black belt? Like, in the... Technically, in the Pokestar Studios? Isn't there one? See, mostly because I was looking at a uh, huge power. And I was looking at, like, oh! Pokemon that have the huge power ability. Just, you know, to double check. And obviously, because, you know, it's uh, the Mawile video. <laughs> and then I saw, uh, like, one of, the, one of the guys shows up. It's like, oh yeah, they include the Pokestar Studios Pokemon here. <laughs> Cause they're not, you know, they're Pokemon, but they're not real. Is Mawile a li no? Mawile is like a little, it's like a little puppy. Well, it has horns. <laughs> well, lizards have horns. That's true. I don't know. It's it's got a funny little. It's got a funny kind of face. I always thought that's like kind of along the lines of what it was. It's got a dog face. It's a dog with horns. Some weird little, some weird little mammal. Don't have a type that's strong against fighting. You? What new Mega Evolutions are coming to Legends EA? IDK. Yeah, we are gonna have to do some backtracking in this. We're getting some good double battles. Um... I want Echo to stay up front. Yeah. But let's heal. Uh, ooh, full restore. Here, I, I can afford it. Maybe I shouldn't actually. Can I pet the dog? Can you pet the Mawile? I don't know if you want to. Hey, child. Hello, child. Can you spare some time? What the heck was that? <laughs> oh, what the dog doing? And it's a Mawile just chomping. <laughs> chomping Pokemon completely. What the dog doing? Yeah, it, it's some kind of little... Some little gremlin. Some kind of goblin. See, I was gonna say, I, uh, but I, I was gonna say something about gremlins, but I forgot. That video was not on this channel. That video was on the second channel. Whoa! Well, I, uh, it was on the Yu-Gi-Oh! channel. Yeah, that's right. The gremlin video. Well, see, because I said, so I was gonna reference gremlin. But, uh, and yeah, like I said, gremlin video is on the Yu-Gi-Oh! channel. Whoa! Which hopefully we'll be getting more videos soon. If you know, you know. Only the real ones know. If you're a true... <laughs> if, if you're a true gremlin gamer... Uh, shoot, what kind of emotes? Do, do, what kind of emojis are there? Is there a gremlin emoji? If you're a true gr gremlin gamer... Uh, 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 that's what I need. I need an imp. I need an imp video. Scrolling through animals. What do we got here? I guess the, there's a little devil emoji, right? 
Uh, oh yeah, we can crunch you. Come back here. Where, where's that emote? Where's that emoji? Hello, what have we got here? Yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah, if you're a true gremlin gamer. Those who know, they know. The feral imp? The king of the feral imp? If you know, you know. Me, I'm the king. I'm the king gremlin. If you know, you know. The evil imp emoji. Yeah, let's go. If you know, you know. Who knows? That's me. That's me, the king gremlin. <laughs> the king, the king of imps. That's me. If you know, you know. And if you know, you're cool and... See, I, I can't I can't say that thing anymore. I can't say stuff about that because I'm like, who knows anymore? I think really just my friends. Just my friends will remember. Or if you're like, you're, if you're, you're, shoot, I don't know, a really, really old subscriber, then yeah. You probably know. I, I gotta make a, I gotta make a specific imp emote. Oh! Oh, no, that's what I need. Alright, chat, jot this down. The next Gatorx exclusive fake mon, it's an imp. It's an imp. A goblin. A gremlin. That's it. The next... The next, uh, exclusive, exclusive fake mon. It's an imp. That's it. Yeah, you know, Grim Snarl is pretty popular. There's not an Impidimp lore out there. No, Impidimp is, oh, I love Impidimp so much. Impidimp and Grim, Grim Snarl is so good. You know, I, I think the shiny, uh, I, I, shiny Grim, Grim Snow is cool, but I, I like the I like the black and the green much better. It's so good. Wait, did I? I think I technically made. Maybe I need to make a, a real Grim Snow infinite video later this year. Cause I'm, you know, made a handful of little ones, but I think it needs like a, a legit one. I made a Sableye video, which I'm very happy. Cause Sableye for sure, one of my favorite Pokemon and my old my old mascot, my old channel mascot. So we have a hundred we have 150 crocs, one frog, and one imp. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> and that's the funny thing too. That that's that's the thing also. So everyone everyone is, you know, crocs, crocs only. Whole monster collecting game, it's all crocs. No one believes in the frog, but everyone everybody knows about the imp. Like, oh yeah, the imp, yeah. I know I know the imp. I know the imp, yeah. A frog, what is that? <laughs> What the heck is a frog? <laughs> Mega Dun Mega Dun on Sparse, it gets even longer. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Give it even even more wings. Give it like the big wings, but it still like keeps the same shape, but it just gets extra segments. We go to four and five segment. Dud on sparse. Mega Dud Sparse? Yeah, it'll be four and five segments. There we go. <clears throat> Fun fact, first Pokemon game was Emerald. Unfortunately, it was a bootleg copy. Oh, man. Emerald's great. Yeah, Horned Toad. This <laughs> little lizard going gremlin mode. Very good. <laughs> <clears throat> Horned Toad. All right, let's get those. Let's get those Crocs. <laughs> the cat face. They call me the Berry Master. Dream filling the world with beautiful flowers, so raise berries and hand them out to everyone. You're deserving of one. Kelpsy berry. Why be stingy? Take another. The Greppa berry. Be sure to visit the pretty petal flower shop near Rustboro. Let flowers fill the world. I'm done for today. Come again another day. Let flowers fill the world. 
husband grows berries, he makes proud, that's what he does. Incidentally, child, have you heard a uh, good saying lately? Alright, let's go. Let me scroll up. Alright, yeah, I've heard uh, I've heard some great some great sayings. Um like uh like uh Oh, oh yeah, yeah, adjectives. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Like, um, like, the heck? Where's great? Where is great? It's an adjective. Feelings? Yeah, I think that's it. Go home. Great. Yeah, great. Um, great battle. Yeah, there we go. Ah, oh, what a remarkable saying. Inspirational it is. I want you to have this. A spell on Barry. Oh, it's like lemon. Our four grandchildren should come... Oh, should become more accomplished than my husband. Joy never goes out of my life. Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, four grandchildren become... Jo oh, no, that's a daily thing. I see. All right, we'll keep that for a while. Is it? Is it? Is it only a daily thing? Yeah, yeah. Okay. We got one berry. All right. Well, let me fly back. Oh no, no. There's still these guys here. And then we'll fly back. We'll we'll run it back in this route to get the rest of everything here. Throw Mega Claw what's in for good measure since they're counterparts. Oh, and Dragalgy. Done on sparse with a thousand segments. It just orbits the world. <laughs> it's the world serpent. <laughs> thousand segment. No, it, it do, uh, do, um... What you do is, you know how, like, Zygarde? Zygarde is made up of, uh, the different cells. You do that, but with Dun and Sparse. And it's just a bunch of, dun like, regular... Each Dun Sparse is a segment. And then you gather a hundred Dunsparce, and they form into <laughs> they form into the ultimate Dunsparce, the the da da dun the da da Dunsparce, and it, it's like the big <laughs> it's the the ultimate Zygarde thing. Wait, you meanie? That, that's the secret of Pokemon Legends ZA. What? Nothing? What? Then what's the point of... Are you leading me on? Okay. Oh wait, hang on. There's a space over there. No, there isn't. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna fly back, and we'll do this route again, because uh, I think there's all the stuff above that you need to get to. Oh, the rare berries can make gold Pokeblocks if you mix them well enough in the contest hall. Oh boy, I gotta gear up. Yeah, we did get one rare candy. And I'll, I'll save that for right before we battle Drake, because I think that'll be... That I'll get the most use out of it then. And Mega Drag LG, Mega Clawitzer, sort of counterparts like Sableye and Mawile. Yes. Well, those ones definitively. That's how they were. That's how they're meant to be. Oh no, hang on. Repel's still active. Okay. Ooh, super repel. Yeah, just really high level Pokeblocks. Had a rare visit from Berry Master at the Berry Mixer. He used all the rare berries. <laughs> also, give us Eternal Flower. Let's do it. Here, let me use that super repel I just got then. Oh, also, Zygarde would be overpower thing. Or. Oh, here, let me do this. And this. We can battle you. 
Uh, let's see, also will Zygarde have an overpowered thing that can do like Arceus and Legends Arceus? It raises questions <laughs> of Will Legends ZA battles against the real world trainers. I'm, I'm super curious. Oh cool, this is uh, a flying Pokemon. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> you want it now? It's just 100% pure Dunsparce that you got him. <laughs> that Arceus Pierce. Magneto. You can do it. Dunsparce. <laughs> the false god snake versus the real snake. All right, sweet. And honestly, I think with... Uh, Oh, but we're going to get the attack drop with uh, Intimidate coming out first from uh, from Sydney's uh, what's-his-face. Mightyena. So maybe I'll lead with... Okay, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm already putting together my plan because I'm about to... Um... What about it? We're about to take on Sydney in a bit. I think it's time. I think it's nearly time. Mega Zangoose and Mega Viper should be a thing. They're so cool, but they got left behind. Ooh. Yeah, I think that was one that I definitely wanted to see. I, I remember um, when Mega... Well... No, because Mega Evolutions were already announced uh, before um, uh, Oras. But I remember like leading up to it, those were like two Pokemon that I really wanted to get Mega Evolutions because I think they would really would have uh, really would have fit. I mean, I'm, I'm at least glad some of the other... Oh, and Pokemon got them. But those are some other ones that would have been cool. Okay. Can go this way. Oh, did I already basically just get everything? Get everything here? I guess I did then. Let's, uh, special attack. Oh, Verde's already maxed out. Mmm. Alright, Pato, you're gonna need it. Yeah, let's save our candy. Let me buy some more revival herbs from the Lava Ridge Town. And, you know, I don't think we're ready. I battled, yeah, I battled everyone on every route. I mean, yeah, we did all the ocean trainers. Got everyone from here, because these are some of the highest level ones. Handful of rematches. Yeah, we went here. We battled those guys already. Hmm. Hmm. Hang on, how, what, what's Wallace's highest level Pokemon? Does he nearly reach 58? He's 58. My Pokemon are barely 50. I really want someone to be level 50 before heading into the league. Well, but Sydney's Pokemon aren't 50 yet. So there's that gradual increase. How close is Verde? Not very close. I'm gonna keep, well, with the experience share, we can do, do double work. I might give it a go because, okay, realistically, realistically, what am I having trouble against? Glacia. Glacia, but with Glacia, um, half of her Pokemon are actually just weak to grass. And Verde is faster than them and can just throw out a big leaf blade. Um,. Then she has two Glalie, which Mossy can really handle. Again, being faster and just throwing out a super effective move. Kombu's there for backup with Flamethrower. Or sorry, with Fire Blast. Echo is not going to be good against Glacia. <laughs> against Drake, Echo needs more speed on everyone to throw out big moves, but we have Ice Beam, and nobody hits Pato for super effective damage, 
and it has fake out and fake out is free damage but that ice beam is going to be useful especially against Salamence, Altaria and Flygon you know we deleted uh, Verde was able to delete um Wands Kingdra and when we go against Wallace, yeah, basically just Verde can almost solo it well. Takes out Waylord, Milotic, Whiskash. Neutral damage to Tentacruel, Ludicolo, Gyarados. And it's only the Tentacruel we gotta look out for. Because it has Ice Beam. You know Rayquaza is green. Oh yeah, but we gotta go catch it. Wait, no, I have it a Master Ball, huh? Would I and should I use a Master Ball against Rayquaza? No, it's like level 45, huh? When you go to get it. Leave Platino behind and just have Rayquaza for the backup. Let's do that. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, combo can tank. Yeah, it'll just become Ice type and resist. Oh, true! True. Oh, we can't get the leftovers until the post game. Let me have 20 on me. Lay it on me. Maybe I shouldn't have bought 20. Because <laughs> then I could have went and bought Flamethrower for the uh, definitive. Rafaz is 70? No. In Ruby and Sapphire, it's 70. Oh, didn't I say you wouldn't catch? Well, I said, I said I'd catch him. Well, I'll catch it, but I don't know if I will use it. I think I might like to have him in the backup. Really? Is level 70 in this game? Are you sure it's 70 in Emerald? I could have I sworn that it was like 70 in Ruby Sapphire, and then like it's lower level here, because you can catch it like right after. Easy. You know, let's take a look. Oh yeah, I might want to rethink choices. Oh, for which one? For my low tick? Oh my no oh my low tick has ice beam. Ooh. Maybe at this point we just uh Oh yeah, it's 70. Really? In all games? Alright, we'll catch him and have him for the it'll, it'll be the back pocket Pokemon. It'll be the back pocket Pokemon. Oh, it is 70 in Emerald? Why was I thinking it was lower level? Okay, cool. Repel still. Alright. Oh, look, see, there you go. Yeah. And there's some other Pokemon I'm thinking of, I guess, that's lower level. Oh, no, it... No, wasn't it, uh... It's Giratina is what I'm thinking of. Giratina is what I'm thinking of, because when you catch it in... Uh, Diamond Pearl, it's like level 70. But then it's lowered in... In, um... Platinum. That's what I'm thinking. No, no, I... Da, 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 da. Okay. No. <laughs> Wasn't fast enough. Okay, okay. So at least on this one I can just go straight to the end. And not run into anything, okay. Sweet. Okay. Am um, I gonna have to do? I'm gonna have to do. Uh, oh boy! <sighs> all right, all right. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, is it just this? Okay, good. <laughs> oh no 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 no! Oh boy. 
I I want to I want to pull up a map. I, I want a map. Well, I mean we can try. Oh no no, cool. E. Okay. All right. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Well, I'm guessing I'm guessing we want middle route. Oh, I got, dang. Oh, I forget we got to build up speed. Speed. I am speed. No, no, no. Oh no, this part. <laughs> Listen. Okay. Okay. Oh no, 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 no. We move diagonal. Yeah, it's just one room. And then I want to go up ASAP. <laughs> Sweet. It, all right. I'm not gonna blame. I'm not gonna blame my hardware, but I will say I am not using the best controller. I am definitely not using the best controller. Oh, 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 all right, all right. And then yeah, this just brings you down to. Oh no, no, that's not where I. I had it. I almost had it. Okay. I'm doing two thumbs. I'm doing two thumbs. Oh, no, wait. Oh, no, no, no. You're right. I do have the repel active. That's going to be... Okay. I need, I need that to not happen... I need that to not happen. Are there Pokemon here? I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Just in case. Okay, okay. Oh my... Stupid. <laughs> I didn't press it fast enough. I'm doing two thumbs on one D-pad. I'm doing two thumbs on one D-pad because this is a... Uh, uh, this is... I'm, I'm not playing on a good controller. The D-pad is kind of... The D-pad's kind of funky. And it, it doesn't roll very well. No! Oh, you can't encounter Claydol here. It's a pretty good encounter. Because you know how on a D-pad normally, like, your thumb just, like, really rolls on it really nice? This is not the case here. Nice. Oh wait, was that too far? That was too far! No! Alright, alright. We're gonna get it. Alright, this is gonna be... Watch me fail spectacularly. Yeah, Claydol's surprisingly underrated. Yeah. No, oh, I'm gonna do a Claydol video soon. I know I could definitely do this on, um... I know I could definitely do this on, uh, on you know, our real Game Boy. I could do this with one thumb. Are th I are there encounters here? Well, there are, huh? But do they ruin your? No, they wouldn't put them on this floor to ruin your bike. There you go. Oh no. Oh, see, yeah, on this floor there's one. This would be a funny montage for Twitter. <laughs> oh no. Hey, why are we in a kit? Well. Actually, I guess this looks cave enough. Listen, I got through in decent-ish time. Decent enough time. Yo, Big Sableye. Oh, depends on what he eats. 
This time zone's probably like three or four hours. Oh, for what? Oh, confused about time zones. Oh, for me, it's 3.39 right now. It is 3.39. Because normally, normally I stream from for like three hours. From two to five. All right. All right, bozo. All right, you're going down. The sky, bozo. The bozone layer. <laughs> Welcome to the bozo layer. Oh man, this effect is so cool. Oh, it is 70. Sheesh. Yep. Alright, Echo. Oh, should I have saved? I probably should have saved. I'm gonna master ball it, but I wanna I wanna get a fun little battle. Oh That's a big extreme speed. Alright. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. Ooh. Did I not save? I did not, but... <laughs> I was gonna Master Ball it anyway. Wait! I did, dang it, didn't I say I was gonna save the Master Ball so I could clone them? Eh. You only live once. I mean, I wasn't gonna run around, because I, I don't have... Oh, now I remember why I didn't want to catch Rayquaza ASAP. Because I was gonna just do all the stuff in the post game and Max... And max, uh, just max my post-game save file. That's right. Oh well. <laughs> it's a big frog, remember? Sorry, right. I'm gonna. What the heck? Oh, no, never mind. I thought, I thought I saw something weird about it. All right, Platino, watch everybody here. Do you have- oh cool, yeah, it has fly. Fly, rest, exp dream speed, outrage. And at level 70, that's gonna be enough to, uh... That's gonna be our just-in-case to delete anybody. I did save. You only live once. YOLO. At least show us the stats. See what this bro looks like. These are monstrous. Monstrous. Nice. Honestly, I don't think I don't even think I'm gonna clone anything. I think that's too much work. Oh wait, no, I can trade. Uh, I can trade for my other. Oh wait, no, I used a master ball on a uh, Kyogre. Eh, if I really need to do anything, I can. Do it all later. No, actually... Actually, I don't even need... I think I can save money just by using only Hyper Potions. So I think that's all I'll need. Whew, I think we might be good. I'm actually gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. We can do it. Uh, no, that's right. I said I was gonna leave with Verde. For the special moves against Mightyena. And then it, Mossy can punch everybody. Against uh, against Phoebe, we have Kombu and Echo. Uh, for Glacia, we'll use Verde. Mossy and Kombu can help out. Against Drake, we've got Pato and Echo. 
And against Wallace, we got Verde. We got Verde. Mmm, Kombu, actually. Potentially. Yeah, that Milotic's gonna be that Milotic's gonna be crazy. Yeah, yeah. Requires some more of the backup. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We're gonna win if possible. We avoid requires exactly. Because even if Pokemon faint, well, hey, let's. All right, all right. Beyond this point, only those trainers who have collected all the gym badges are permitted to enter. Trainer, let us confirm that you have all the gym badges. Trainer, believe in yourself and your Pokemon and go forth. Nah, I'd win. Da, 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 Welcome, Challenger. I'm Sydney of the Elite Four. I like that look you're giving me. I guess you'll give me a good match. That's good. Looking real good. Alright, you and me. Let's enjoy a battle that only can be staged here in the Pokemon League. Dun, 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 dun. Let me pull up the music. <laughs> Elite Force Sydney would like to battle. Elite Force Sydney sent out Mightyena. Dude, the, this music's so good. This the, the Elite Four, Hall Elite Four music is so good. Alright, so we Leaf Blade. Get some neutral going. I could have done the funny fury cutter. Okay, that's it. Yeah, just delete it. And then we'll bring out Mossy, and Mossy can punch everybody. Pato will gain levels and be ready for... Will Mossy... No, Pato gains levels and then uh, he'll be ready for, um, for Drake. I don't want to risk a sky upper. Well, let me do it. Good, it lands. Cindy's a sham, doesn't even have one Houndoom. <laughs> they should have rematch teams. There we go. Legendary music, it is so good. I think we can regular mock punch and still do decent against it. No, oh, only half health, okay. Oh, yikes. Yeah, I did not want a chance. Because, <laughs> yeah, what's... Yeah, Sky Uppercut is uh, 85 HP, I believe. Dun, 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 dun. Is the music coming through well enough? In the stream? Yeah, yeah. Crawdaunt. We'll do... Oh, I should be looking at the team. What moves does it have? We'll do them. We'll just mock punch it twice. Or once. <laughs> with a crit. Like that, they never. Oh, wait. Oh, like that, in newer games, characterized gym leaders in Elite Four. They're also forgettable in older games. I, I think definitely the uh, Sydney gets a glow up. Yeah, let me just go for this. <laughs> Better Elite Four type specialist, Sydney or Karen? Opinions? Ooh. I mean, honestly? Because we just... Oh, well, do you like that? I lost. It was fun, so it doesn't matter. Well, listen to what this loser has to say. You've got what it takes to go far. Now go on to the next room and enjoy your next battle. Here, hurry and screenshot that part where it says, Now listen what this loser has to say. And then just use that <laughs> and then reply to people. Just reply to people with uh, with that screenshot. Uh, we've got... Uh, Phoebe. Phoebe up next. Dun, dun, da, 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 da. Hey, yo, where's the ghost? Show me the ghost. Show me the ghost girl. <laughs> I know she's here. Okay, but Hoenn League, 
rematch teams in uh, Oras are cool. Oh yeah, oh yeah, they all have Mega Aces, not to mention. Team consists of Pokemon found everywhere in Hoenn. Hey, what's up? Dusty's in the chat. What's up, man? Hoping you're having a good week. Just started a Ruby playthrough. Ooh, nice. I know, Gen 3. <laughs> I'm Phoebe of the Elite Four. I did my training on Mount Pyre. While I trained, I gained the ability to commune with Ghost-type Pokemon. Yes, that bond I developed with Pokemon is extremely tight. So come on, just try and see if you can even inflict damage on my Pokemon. Now, I love the Versus screens here. I don't know if I, No, no, I saw the Sydney one, I just wasn't paying attention. I'm paying attention here because this is Phoebe. <laughs> Bus blops? Uh, but yeah. Yeah, I love how green the team is. Exactly. Yeah, the, the whole thing was we're using only green Pokemon the whole playthrough. Only green Pokemon. Uh, but yeah. No, that that's cool. That's cool playing Pokemon Ruby. I, uh, you know, I was playing uh, Emerald, right? Well, obviously I'm playing Emerald, duh. Um, but while I was playing it, because I have not played it since way back then. Um, I have not gone back to replay Emerald in forever. Uh, so it's been so kind of like refreshing, like playing it and seeing like just how much is like, wow, you know, how much is different from Ruby Sapphire. Because I played Sapphire last year, and so now playing Emerald uh, for the first time in years, it's uh, it it's quite an experience. But I I've had just I've just had so much Gen 3 nostalgia. I I have I'm having some more nostalgia for another era of Pokemon, but that but uh that will come in later. You will all see the big, hopefully big project. Ice Beam. Oh no, I forgot these things had Ice Beam. Sorry, goodbye, Echo. Yeah, the second one has Ice Beam. Oops. Alright, we'll revive Echo. Oh man, man, this one's big. Yeah, it has Shadow Ball, Ice Beam, Rock Slide, Earthquake. Sheesh. Okay, that faint attack does decent damage. Oh, it has... Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Yeah, your Ruby playthrough headcanon is that you're a relative of Briny. <laughs> and the Sailor whole team is nautical theme. Ooh, nice. Lots of water flying Pokemon so far. Nice. Dude, that's such a good idea. I kind of want to do more, like, playthroughs like that. Oh, dang, and a crit. Of, like, doing kind of theme stuff. Okay. Oh no, but it has Ice Beam. Yikes. I'm gonna do a big neutral hit. Take one Ice Beam, and then I will revive Echo. Uh, um, oh, I can just do another big Leaf Blade to go through the revive, or sorry, the full restore. Yeah, that Ice Cube Beam didn't do enough to me. Yeah, save those leaf blades. Bayonet. I really want Echo to be back in here. What does Bayonet have? Bayonet does not have a lot. Oh wow, oh gosh. It actually has quite a bit. Oh yeah, yeah, it's a lot. Oh, you used to do it a lot growing up. Feels good to be back at it. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I, I definitely want to like do more like that. I, uh, I, I've been brainstorming. All right, back found some pork belly in the freezer, so you defrosting it to make tacos. <laughs> Sounds good. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm uh, got some plans to uh, do a little catching up here. I'll use the max <laughs> on Echo. No, you kind of inspired me with your Gen 3 videos. Oh, thank you. See, and, and you know, especially too, because it's like, it fits in with a video, because yeah, it's funny, the streams feed into the videos because, you know, that's the footage we use for it. 
Okay, this is the will o -Wisp Grudge Faint Attack Shadow Ball one. Um, so yeah, so it's kind of neat too, and a good amount of people also say like, oh, I play the same, uh, I, I like playing the same or similar game while, uh, while watching, you know, while watching the stream. I'm just like, oh, that's really cool. And that Shadow Ball doesn't do enough. It does a lot, yeah. Yeah, this level disparity is really going to start kicking in. It's already kicking in right now. Okay. Oh, and Sableye we don't hit for... What does Sableye have? Oh great, this thing has double team. Well, if we're going neutral, then we can start hitting Dragon Breath. 47 damage? Okay. The Shadow Ball is going to knock me out, though. Hmm. Yeah, oh, sorry. <laughs> Hit the mic. It would have been better if I could get, um... Oh, no, never mind. If I could get Kombu going, but... You can do Roundabout to, uh turn it into a ghost type and hit it for super effective. One of your favorite animals? Donphan, Delibird, who also deserve Mega Evolutions. Donphan got, well, I got, yeah, and you know, I just said that I don't count the Paradox Pokemon as the same level as Megas. I don't wanna, it's gonna Shadow Ball, but maybe I can hit and paralyze? I... Uh, oh, that baits her into the full restore, though. I'm gonna heal. I'm doing a lot of heal. Yeah, there it is. I ooh, I don't think we I don't think we get this. I kind of want to like just keep doing this endlessly. Oh, it's because it's got a double team up. I have... No, I took off Feint Attack from, uh... Oh my gosh. I took Feint Attack off of, uh, Kombu. So I can't even just revive him. Alright, at least we're hitting. We'll just keep it up. <laughs> just keep it up. If you're not role-playing and make head cannons for your character, are you really playing Pokemon? <laughs> True enough, I guess. And Bayonet. This one, though, has big moves. But at least we can finally hit it with Crunch again. <laughs> and two-shot it. Yeah, that Sableye was kind of a, kind of a monster. Honestly, maybe I should have just had Verde there to neutral leaf blade it again. Yeah, hearing those horns really puts you in a mood to visit Hoenn like an old vacation photo. True. Alright, that's two down. Oh darn, I've gone and lost. Didn't recognize, so it's only natural that I lost. Yep, I'd like to see how far your bond will carry you. Go ahead, move on to the next room. I still think we're... I think, yeah, those levels are really going to hurt now. Yeah, they're really going to hurt. The thing is, I don't know, it's... I feel like it's kind of... I mean, I didn't shift up the team too much. I battled just about every trainer on just about every route. But still, it's like, oh man, you still... It feels like you still hit a wall in terms of levels. Maybe I did shift, change up the team a bit too much. All right, Glacia. For Glacia, the plan is... 
Verde will neutral with Leaf Blade against the Celios and the Wall Rains. And we've got Mossy to just Sky Uppercut the Glalies. Unfortunately, the back pocket uh, Rayquaza doesn't help too much here, I don't think. Welcome, my name is Glacia of the Elite Four. I've traveled afar to Ho from afar to Hoenn, so I may hone my ice skills. But all I uh, have seen are, challenge are challenges by weak trainers and their Pokemon. What about you? It would please me to no end if I could go all out to get you. <laughs> Dang. She insulting. Yeah, she's got a yellow ball. Yeah, Leaf Blade should be... See, Ice doesn't resist Grass. Oh, super effective. Oh, okay. You're right. Yep, yeah, I'm still under-leveled, so it isn't enough, but... I think this baits out a full restore, actually. So this is pretty good. That hail is going to be hard to deal with. No, Hoenn Trumpets are a big meme. He thinks he's your favorite soundtrack of Pokemon. It's my stop. Good luck. Nah, quit being negative. I'm going to mute you if you're negative. You keep doing that. You don't believe. That's a skill issue. Um, oh, that Leaf Blade has been... Mm, dang it. I Shoot, I forgot to... Maybe it is my stop. <laughs> I, for, I forgot to... I forgot to restore PP. I think after this, she would bring out a Glalie. Mm. All right, here I am. I was just, I was just saying, I'm gonna get this. Uh, the second Celio. This one has Blizzard. Oh crap. This one has Blizzard. Um, and it's max accuracy right now. Yikes, I should have done that. I should have been paying attention. Hail stopped. Hey, crit on the fake out. Alright, yeah, and this one, okay, this one does have hail to set it up again. So I guess we stall more. That blizzard did not take me out. I think blizzard plus another hail does. Mm, but I don't hit you. I don't hit, oh, I'm faster. Hey, that does not, that isn't terrible. Well, when blizzard still misses even in hail. Really? <laughs> All right, Pato, you got it. Attract? The heck? I mean, I have the move set right here, and I'm still surprised by that attract. If you break through, that'd be pretty cool. No. Nope. I think this blizzard plus the hail knocks me out, but that's exactly what I wanted. Yep, because now we just pivot onto... Because now we just pivot onto Sceptile and take it out and waste hail turns. And actually, after this one goes down, she's out of hail setters. <laughs> Gator said PP to what? Love this, all the greatest Gators are here for the big victory. We're gonna do it. Finally. There's Wall Rain. We get one good hit against it. To at least... And Hail stopped. But it still has Ice Beam. It still has Ice Beam. And that did half health, which is great. 
Sheer. Oh, it wasted a sheer cold. Oh. Oh no. I thought it would trigger the berry earlier. Okay. So now we leaf blade. And if it's not max, then we'll bait out another full restore at least. I live that one. I'm still gonna leaf blade. No! Oh! Did not use the full restore. Okay. Ooh, alright. We're looking good. Not looking bad. Yeah, that, that leaf blade needed to be like a big roll it, or it needed to be like a crit. But either way, that still mathed pretty well. Oh, Glalie is faster than... Oh, gosh. Youch. Oh, gosh. I did not think these things were that fast. Mm, what does this have? I think, yeah, we need a bit more levels on Kombu. And maybe I should have tried to give it a flamethrower instead of fire blast, but hey. We're doing. Oh yeah, that was not enough. At least I'm ice now. And it only has ice attacking moves. The second Glalie has explosion, which is really funny. Ooh, and a burn. She didn't use her second full restore though. Yeah, there it is. Gambit at Kombu! <laughs> That's a fast snowball. I know. Yeah, he resists now. Uh, Crunch. Oh! No, it does... Okay, so it makes me dark now. Now I don't resist that Ice Beam, so I think, uh... This is my time to heal. That's all right. I'm gonna take one turn to revive Mossy. Get down lower HP, and I'll use a full restore. Light screen wore off. It might. Okay, so I'm gonna full restore. <laughs> Get rid of the freeze. Heal. Half health. It used a turn on light screen. Now we can get back to fire blasting. Ooh, I'm not even max PP on here. Now we start fire blasting. And I'm landing all these fire blasts. This is, uh. It's pretty good. It's a crunch. It's that stab damage from the dark type. <laughs> the dark type Glalie. My, I landed every fire blast. No items, we fight like dogs? No. Man, I wish this was uh, later where, uh, you know, where Kecleon gets uh, priority moves. I don't want to go down completely. Mm, I guess we go down and just get a good switch in. Because I don't want to heal. <laughs> no, no, we're not locking anything. I'm using as many items as I can. If they get, if they get two full restores, then I'm, I'm getting some items. And plus, honestly, items aren't even like, you know, completely cheesing it because, you know, you still use up a turn. Now this one has explode, so it'd be great if it just uses explode and does the work for us. Otherwise, it goes down to two mock punches. Because I'm not fast enough to sky uppercut. 
Oh boy. It's getting close. Oh, I'm faster. Sweet. <laughs> Sweet. Oh. Not enough. <laughs> I'm sorry, Echo. I'm sorry, Echo. Alright, it works out. It works out. We're taking down this dark type. Ooh, alright. Weirdly enough, I think, um... Weirdly enough, I think... Oh, I didn't read her dialogue. Oops. Advance to the next room. And there, confirm the truly fearsome side of the Pokemon League. Trying to resist it. <laughs> Trying everything to resist pressing the legendary button. Well, see, it also, like, wouldn't help here because... <laughs> Rayquaza would just take so much damage from my speed. Alright, everyone, come around, get your revival herbs. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. Pato, you're at 46. That's almost enough to hopefully do some. I think the Ice Beam against the the guys that are four times a week to it will still actually be pretty good. Alright. I need to have a Glalie, but not the Dark-type trainer. <laughs> I know, right? Sydney should have had it. Oh, do I use the Rare Candy now? Oh, gosh. Uh, no one's at a decent range to get the most out of it. Combo is... Yeah, Glalie's the favorite honorary dark type. Pokemon are gonna despise you after this. <laughs> I know all the fainting and the revival herbs. Alright, so for this one, we go Echo. And Echo will Dragon Breath Shell Gone. And hopefully two-shot it. Then I bring out Ponto against Altaria. Rare Candy, the Rayquaza, definitely. Don't forget- oh, don't forget the PP. Thank you, thank you. Oh my gosh, thank you for reminding me. What do I have? I have some Elixirs. And some Ethers. Um... Who needs it the most? Who needs what the most? Okay, um... I don't think I need Crunches on Echo. I don't think I'll need Crunches on Echo. I will need Leaf Blades on Verde. Pato's good. I will not need Fire Blast on Kombu. Mossy's good. And then Bozo's good. Okay, so let me definitely just use the Aether right now on Leaf Blade. And hey, let me actually check Echo again, see what the Dragon Breaths are at. Maybe I do just Elixir really quick. I can one Elixir on Echo. I'll save that rare candy for the end. I'm I'm kind of scared thinking about that Milo tick. I do have a I do have an ice weakness. Check for Lepa berries. I don't think I picked many. They're setting the max power frustration stat. All right, just gonna stretch a bit. Pop my elbows. I am the last of the Pokemon League Elite Four, Drake the Dragon Master. In their natural state, Pokemon are wild living things. They are free. At times they hinder us, at times they help us. For us to battle with Pokemon as partners, do you know what it takes? Do you know what it is needed? If you don't, then you will never prevail over me. Lots of love. Yaz yeah, and Drake related to Pico. <laughs> I mean, Bridie. Yeah, they're old. Out, they're not related, but they're old uh, sailing buddies. Bro, this guy, this guy's got the drip. Yeah, Drake is related to, what? Drayton, no. Straight in, all right. We're gonna Dragon Breath and hopefully two-shot this Shellgun. I don't think it's strong enough to do much to us and we're faster. 
Mmm, that's nice. Dra I love Dragon Claw's animation in this game. Ooh, gosh, alright. Does it bait out the full restore? No, it doesn't. I don't think they- do they ever full restore their first Pokemon? Alright, Echo. Altaria, Flygon. Okay. Ponto, it's your turn. And now we fake out for free damage into an Ice Beam. And I think I live this Earthquake. Grass does not resist ground. Or no, it does. Duh. Oh, sweet. I'm good. I'm cracked. Does it one shot? Oh my gosh, it does. Yeah, the four times damage. <laughs> Sweet. The duck is gonna do it. Altaria? Do I get a clean switch in for fake out? I think I stay in. No, it has aerial lace. Oh gosh. It has aerial lace. Um I'm gonna stay in. Oh I'm faster. Oh. Okay. The bird the bird's slow without a dragon dance. Oh, and, no, there's a Dragon Dance. Oh, gosh. That's going to boost the Aerial Ace. Can we... Can you use the full restore? That'd be cool. No. I think I go down? Yeah, I go down. But we're in a good position. No, it ha Oh, it has one Dragon Dance. But it... It has a thing at that Aerial Ace. Um... Kombu doesn't take super effective damage and hits it with a neutral Thunderbolt. Oh, and Double Edge. Oh, okay. Nice. 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 He <laughs> Gator hearing me out. We ball. I know it. Yeah, yeah, we ball. Kingdra. The Aerial Lace is gone. That's very good. That's very good. Now... Kingdra... Oh, Kingdra does not have super effective moves on me. So I two-shot it with a Leaf Blade. I, I don't two-shot it with Leaf Blade. Oh. It's a little fatter. It's a little fatter than Wands. That's actually really bad that these... Uh, body Slam... That's really bad that you got one Dragon Dance. Crit Leaf Blade. Oh, Withdraw. Oh, gosh. Oh, he's got two Pokemon left. Okay. The Mence. At least he lost the Dragon Dance boost. I'm going to use this opportunity. It has flamethrower. I'm going to use this chance to revive the duck. Revive the duck. He would never have to battle a Kingdra. I know the see, water dragon is just one of the best type combos. I mean, I love it. I, that's one of my favorite type combos in the game. All right, now we fake out for free damage into Ice Beam. Fake out. Ice Beam. Oh, we're not- oh. Don't flinch, don't flinch. Oh, thank you. That's the best it has against me though, huh? Does that trigger the full restore? I think it does, so we Ice Beam. The duck of death. <laughs> El Paco de Muerte. Man, how cool would that have been if it crit? Oh! Come on. Crit, 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 crit. Man, I should have used a dire hit at some point. This ice beam just goes crazy. Imagine if this was a blizzard that I could land. 
Dragon Claw for neutral. Oh my gosh, the duck. The duck did it. Drake, you're throwing. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, he used both full restores. Oh, that's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy. And then King Drill, we go with uh, Echo. Oh, is, gosh, is Echo faster than King Drill? Um, I don't know. There's no rain, so hopefully I'm fast. Yeah, I'm faster. Oh, gosh. Yeah, Drake using four restores shows how little honor he has. We ain't ducking this one, man. Oh, gosh, the Drake defeated, or duck defeated the Drake. Superb. Oh, my gosh. You deserve every credit for coming this far as a, as a trainer of Pokemon. You do seem to know what is needed. Yes, what a trainer needs is a virtuous heart. That's me. Pokemon touch the good hearts of trainers and learn good from wrong. They touch the good hearts of trainers and grow strong. Go! Go onwards! The champion is waiting! Ooh. Oh, we only got one faint. Okay, what's the game plan for Wallace? He starts, he leads with a Waylord. He leads with a Waylord, oh gosh. The Waylord has Blizzard? I'm gonna hope, I'm really gonna hope Blizzard misses. I am very, I am very not happy about my low tick. We got this. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> alright, alright, let's get hype, let's get hype. I'm... That Milotic's gonna be... That Milotic is not gonna be cool. Game plan is Ray Sweep. Ray Sweep... Uh, I, lo I love the long stairway and the lights in this one. Alright, Wallace. Welcome, Josh. That incident in Sutopolis City. What, uh, that was superb work, putting an end to that crisis all by yourself. Uh, oops. It wouldn't be fair to say that you alone ended the crisis. You overcame that difficult situation by working as one with your Pokémon. We trainers raise Pokémon by giving them items and by teaching them new techniques for battle. But we ourselves also learn many things from Pokémon. And this is where your achievements are put to the test against what others like you have achieved. Now, who can most elegantly dance with their Pokémon in Hoenn? Show me right here and now! Oh boy. Champion Wallace would like to battle. Oh boy. Alright. The world champion difference. Oh my. Explicative. I forgot to switch. I forgot to switch uh, <laughs> Verde to the front. Uh, paralyze. <laughs> Alright, Echo, you're up. It doesn't matter. Paralyze. Channeling Wolves Power for the World Champion diff. Let's go, let's do it. Oh, Water Spout. Oh, no, that's the, that's the damaging move. Oh, gosh. Yeah, this Waylord is crazy. This Waylord's crazy. Alright. Verde. Leaf Blade crit this way, Lord. Mods, critical hit. Land a critical hit. Okay, no, good, regular. Oh shoot, the Milotic already. Oh, oh, if we can, if we can, if we can take care of Milotic right now, that's really good, actually. If we can take care of Milotic right now, that's really good. Yeah, there's the Ice Beam. I don't think it knocks me out. I go straight for another Leaf Blade, that's what I do. Get it to Citrus Berry, make it waste a Citrus Berry. And then we come in with another Pokemon to take care of it. Sir? Why? Why?
Oh, I think that's at a full restore range, though, for you. Oh my gosh, I... Hang on. Are Hyper Potion still... Okay, they're good. Uh, okay, now I live another Ice Beam, and then I outspeed for a Leaf Blade to knock it out. Surf, why is it using... Why? Why are you going Surf? Ooh, okay, Leaf Blade. Let's go. The AI thought it would kill. <laughs> the A- Oh, no, 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 My but mine didn't. This puts me low health, though. No, it knocks me out, okay. I think- If we can use up the full restores, that's really good, too, though. Hmm. Yeah, don't question it, just win. Yeah, there- okay, there's the full restore. Oh, gosh. I needed- I needed, like, a crit on that leaf blade. Ugh. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We're good, we're good. I know the Mega Drain is... Yeah, the Mega Drain's not gonna do enough. Uh... Oh, no, no, no. Oh. I'm panicking, I'm panicking. Alright, alright. All right, sorry. We gotta, we gotta revive. Oh my gosh, I should, I should have used that turn to revive. I should have used that turn to revive. Um. All right, we're gonna do it. Got 13 revival herbs left. We're good. It's good to know that that ice beam does not one shot uh, Verde. Yeah, the Milotic is gonna be trouble. That's for sure. I think I used this opportunity to also just revive. I, I I fumbled pretty bad letting Mossy die. At least the Waylord's out of here and we can take care of the Milo Tick easy. And we just let Pato go down and eat up the Ice Beams. Yeah, I wish I would have stuck an ice move on, um, or an ice move, a grass move on Pasta. That would have been good. All right, either way, we're good with Verde now. The Tentacruel is going to be a problem, also. The Tentacruel is going to be a problem because it has ice. That one has ice beam, also, and it's a poison type. Yeah, yeah, requires to get one shot by Ice Beam unless you can extreme speed kill first. A crit? Are you kidding? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Alright, Bozo, you're up. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try that extreme speed. Sorry, I, I got I got hacked by a crit. I gotta I need my I need my get out of jail free card. There's Tentacruel. The Tentacruel also has Ice Beam. Let me just delete the guys that have Ice Beam. Yeah, there it is. That does not get me. I'm sorry I had to. The Ray Sweep. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna do it. Alright. I'm just... I just used Bozo to bail me out to get rid of the Ice Beamers so I can revive everybody. <laughs> or at least revive, uh... At least revive What's-His-Face. Oh, no, 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 that's not Fly! Oh my gosh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, 
Oh, that was not fly. That was not fly. <laughs> Bozo is fast asleep. <laughs> no, that, no, that's, uh... Crap. Yeah, that's bad. Crap. There, Bozo woke up. He's got two dragon dances down, that's bad. Do I no, I should still outspeed him. Are we cooked? No, we're not cooked. Never. Never. Yeah, the full heal is a thing, but I, I wanted to break through it. <laughs> Adios, Gyarados. <laughs> There was always a plan for Gyarados. Uh, oh no, that, yeah, there's the full restore. Alright, alright, fine. Another, <laughs> another one here. Uh, actually, this Gyarados, I mean, it could just hyper beam me again. In which case, I'll get another free move. Earthquake. Oh, there's that. Yeah, that's, uh, that's an option, also. He must rest. Uh, shoot. Shoot, alright. I think what I really do is I, I try it again with... <laughs> I, I, I get Bozo to bail me out again. <laughs> We're cheesing it. That hyper beam. I mean, on the upside, at least it has to rest from that. I could revive combo and we've got the other combo. I'm not gonna bother. We're gonna, f we're gonna fly. Delete the Gyarados and then uh, we're gonna delete the Gyarados, <laughs> and, and and then we'll uh, we'll get everybody else. We'll get everybody else to, you know, do the real fight. Alright, Ludicolo. We should be pretty good against Ludicolo. It can't Leech Seed us. And we can hit it neutral. We can hit it super effective with, <laughs> with Fury Cutter. <laughs> I need some, I need to save some Leaf Blades for, uh, Whiskash. That's actually going to be pretty bad. I think it's just going to spam double team. Yeah, it's going to. Do I have anything to... No, Kombu doesn't have feint attack anymore. Does he? Or does... No, it still does. Alright, get Kombu ready. Oh no, but then he's gonna get to do a Giga Drain. For super effective. Oh, that's still. Oh gosh. That did too much. Hmm. Yeah, I should have kept Aerial Ace for this. Yeah, Aerial Ace is. I'd imagine this is really good against this Ludicolo. You know, I feel like now most of the rate, most of the, most of the feints we're actually getting are just with, with Bozo. <laughs> I mean, it'd be cool if it learned it naturally. It's only got one. It still missed. It only had one double team, and it's still two double teams now. Need a duck be duck. Unfortunately, my duck has two water moves because it's the HM guy. Against two double teams. It lands. Thank you. 
and it crits. Alright, here we go. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, the Surf did a lot of damage. I guess, you know, it's still a matter of levels. Salute the Whisk Cash. I think that just. No, it doesn't. Does it delete it? It deletes it. Oh, thank you. Yeah, the crit was unnecessary with the flow. There he is. Getting the fi landing the final blow ending at level 50. I fumbled a bit here and there. That was wonderful work, you well elegant. Infuriatingly so. And yet it was utterly glorious. Kudos to you, Josh. You are a truly noble Pokemon trader. Thanks, Chief. The Pokemon you sent to the battle. Oh boy. It took it took <laughs> It took cheese in here and there, but oh boy. I would, I mean... Yeah, because I, cause I, I didn't want to level. <laughs> this is what items are for. The Pokemon you set in the battle. At times they danced like a spring breeze. And at times they struck like lightning. It was with light. It was with light yet sure-footed elegance that you led your Pokemon. Even I felt bedazzled by your masterful performance. You now stand at the glorious peak of the Pokemon League. I now proclaim you the new Hoenn Region. Josh, here's some advice before you challenge a champion. <laughs> huh? What, what, what? Josh, could it be that it's already over? See, what did I tell you, May? Didn't I tell you you don't need to worry about Josh? Man, I worried, bro. Josh, you've finally done it. When I heard that you defeated your own father at the Petalburg Gym, I thought perhaps you had a chance. But to think you've actually become the champion? Ah, yes. What became of your Pokedex? Here, let me see. Hmm. <laughs> so you've seen 149 Pokemon and you've caught 22. Some Pokemon only appear in certain areas. You must be persistent. Anyways, congratulations. Now go proudly into the final room. Josh. No, let me rephrase that properly. The new champion! Come with me. I'm sorry, but from here on, only those trainers who have become champions may enter. You'll have to wait outside with Professor Birch. Aww. I'm just joking. That's okay. That's the rule. Josh, honestly, congratulations. This room. This is where we keep records of Pokemon that, pre of, that prevail through harsh battles. It is here that the League champions are honored. Come on, let's record your name as a trainer who's triumphed over the Pokemon League and the names of the partners who battled with you. Oof. Echo the Flygon. There day, the Sceptile. <laughs> Pato the Ludicolo. Kambu the Kecleon. Mossy the Breloom. And Bozo the Rayquaza. <laughs> Welcome to the Hall of Fame. Man, look how green that is. Ain't that a beautiful green screen? Wallace got Bozo and Bozo Sweet GG. <laughs> I'll be the multilingual goat. No items with the fail save, <laughs> Rayquaza. <laughs> Cheese it with items. I, they're legitimate. You can access your bag during a battle. You're allowed to use items in the main playthrough. <laughs> it's only in BGC you're not allowed to use items. Wow. Look at. Oh yeah, we got the cast form. The oh my gosh, the Cacnea. There was Olive. Oh yeah, there's Manectric. That's right, we had the Manectric for us for with us for a bit. <laughs> Caught 22 Pokemon. Asked for 384.
scenario plot. Now listen. I had a big ice beam weakness. <laughs> so Rayquaza had to had to take care of had to take care of the ice beamers. And plus I didn't even touch Rayquaza at all. I didn't touch Rayquaza at all until Wallace. <laughs> And even then, Rayquaza was weak to Ice Beam too, so... <laughs> I did a misclick also, so... <laughs> There's the Cacnea again. It's taunting me every time it shows up, the poor shiny Cacnea. <laughs> oh boy. Gator is still gonna stream on Fridays? Yeah, obviously. Just like, uh, you know... The past two years? Every Friday for the past two years? <laughs> well, actually, in June, it'll be two years that I've uh, streamed every Friday. With exceptions, you know, like, uh, I don't stream on Black Friday because I'm enjoying Thanksgiving weekend. Um, and then when a new game comes out, if, it, if a new Pokemon game comes out on Friday, I'll, I won't stream it. So you need to go now, but it was fun hanging out watching this finale. Yeah, thanks for thanks for joining. Glad you could be here. It was a big one. Well, yeah, I love how they just cycles the Pokemon you've caught over and over. Yeah, which is why, like, I think that it'd be neat to do like one of the ones that's like, um, what do you call it? If you happen to, you know, catch every Pokemon up until this point, because then you can definitely, uh, what do you call it? You can definitely get a full thing. Yeah, thanks for having Gatorx, everyone. Yep. Oh, didn't know new stuff? No, no problem. I was joking, because I was... I was literally thinking to myself, like, Oh gosh, it's been almost two years. The end. It's been almost two years I've streamed just about every Friday. It makes me feel... <laughs> makes me feel on the old... Not old, but... I'm like, wow. Because when I look back, I'm like, wow, I've streamed... I've done over a hundred streams? And I'm like, yeah, well, that's right, yeah, because if it's been almost two years that I streamed, that I decided to stream every Friday, then that ends up being like, what, 50 streams a year? You know, like 52 minus two for, yeah, exceptions. Look, there's Echo, and there, and look, there's Sparky, the main electric. Oh, Wallace's dialogue made, uh, made you think now. He said, streak like lightning and using Thunderbolt. Now imagine the future game. <laughs> a lot of individual different dialogue depends on the moves you use. Oh, that'd be interesting. Yeah, try to join next time too. See ya. Thanks for joining. And you know, actually, that did bring it. Yeah, RIP the Torchic. It tripped just like Serena's Fennekin. But yeah. Oh, yep. 22. 22 even. 22 even to beat the game. Dad? You're back with the milk? Hmm? Hey, it's Josh. It's been a while since I saw you, but you look stronger, somehow. That's the impression I get. But your old man hasn't given up yet? Ah, yes, I have something for you. This came for you from someone named Mr. Briny. The SS ticket. Hmm, a ticket for a fairy. If I recall, there are fairy ports in Slateport and Lily Cove. <laughs> I better get back to the Petalburg Gym. Um, Mom, he just calls her Mom. Mom, thanks for looking after the house while I'm away. <laughs> that dad of yours. He comes home for the first time in a while, but all he talks about is Pokemon. He should relax and stay a little longer. Oh yeah, the TV. Is that a breaking news story? We bring you this emergency news flash. In various Hoenn locales, there have been reports of a colored Pokemon in flight. The identity of this Pokemon is currently unknown. We now return to the regular movie program. Josh, did you catch that? What color did the announcer say it was? I'm going to say it was blue. Well, isn't that something? There's still a known Pokemon. Uh, because in Sapphire version. We're already, already set. Red or blue? I'm in your seat, Mom. Well, I think that is... 
Yeah, because we came up at just about three hours for the stream, which is just... This is normally around the time I end. A little beforehand. Well, well, Josh. That was good work there. I knew there was something special about you when I first saw you, but I never expected this. Oh, yes. Do you still have that Pokedex I gave you? I have something to show you. Let's go to my lab. Now... Josh and May, I've had the two of you help me study Pokemon. Thanks for your help, new facts are coming to light. It appears that in the Hoenn region, there are also Pokemon from other regions. It goes to show how rich and varied the natural environments of Hoenn happen to be. That's why I think it's necessary for me to upgrade your Pokedex to the national mode. Here, let me see your Pokedex units. <laughs> it's so cool that even my Pokedex is getting updated. Because you went out and caught so many Pokemon. <laughs> Me catching only green Pokemon. Okay, all done. Josh's Pokedex was upgraded to the national mode. But listen, you've become the champion, but your Pokemon journey isn't over. There's no end to the road that is Pokemon. Somewhere there's a grassy patch that's waiting for you. <laughs> I think I'll take a short break from field work. I think I'll help the professor here for a bit. Ah, yes. To get auto balance from choosing red? <laughs> oh, it's Scott. Hi, hi, Josh. It's me, Scott. Scott the Waz? I'm aboard the SS Tidal now. It feels great to be on the sea. Uh, by the way, there's this place that I'd like to invite you to for a visit. If you're interested, board a ferry at either Slateport or Lily Cove. I'll fill you in on the details when we meet. And I'll be waiting. Mm-hmm. I expect to catch Pokemon of different colors. <laughs> Alright. Well, yeah. So that's it. Became the champion. I am... Hey guys, Scott here. <laughs> Yo, Scott Wozniak. I think that's kind of neat too, how they have that, like, they remind you. It's like, hey, you really, really want to go on the SS title now. Uh, but I'll be doing the post-game stuff probably just on my own, but I'll obviously be recording it, and, uh... Now that I become the champion, that actually opens up a lot of stuff in the region that I've been wanting to do videos on. So that's actually great. So we'll get all those, and uh, yeah, there'll be even more videos about those. And uh, so that's at least the plan. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm going to record a lot of post game stuff just on my own, on my own time, off the stream, uh, and then we'll continue on with that. But that's just about where I'm going to end it. But hey. You got an orange super chat, the Nickelodeon orange from Taijira. Hang on, I can leave. I can give a heart to that. I got a Nickelodeon orange super chat that says, "Let's hear it for Josh, El Campeón del Hoenn." Today we conquered the Sky Tower, the Berry Master, Glalie Spammers, and El Pato de Sombra. Let's join us next time when he ignores Professor Birch's request for you, for data even more. <laughs> You know, I gotta, maybe I should do something like, uh, I should, I should, you know what, I think I'll do a thing that, what I should do, is I should, um, do a thing to, like, just show up, I guess when we wrap things up, we'll show the Super Chats at the end of stream, that'd be a good idea. That'd be a good idea, a good way to do it, but thank you so much, much appreciated. Here, let me see, do I have a funny, I think I was saying I kind of ran out of drafted tweets to read, but, um... There's one. Oh, here's a tweet that I made, and uh, it's alluding to a big secret, but I'll read it. And I realized, you know, because people will post things on Twitter, they'll say like, oh man, remember when we used to have real games, like this and that? And I thought to myself, you know, what's really stopping you from just playing the old games? I mean, here I am, I'm streaming Pokemon Emerald. So I realized, oh, I think I said this last week though, but hey, the similar, this is hinting at the future. Where I said, literally, what's stopping me from pretending it's 2010 again? Play Pokemon Heart Gold, watch Star Wars The Clone Wars on Friday night, continued by Saturday morning cartoons. So, uh, take that hint as you will. Mods ignore, <laughs> ignore his request for data. How much for the contest stream? Again, I don't think I'm gonna stream. I'm gonna record it and it'll, I'll do, oh, it'll be, um, I'll record it offline just because... Because it'll be grind, and it's like it's one of those things that's like, ah, oh, there'll be a contest video eventually. I think right now on the horizon, probably one of the next th videos I'm gonna do is probably Mirage Tower, Altering Cave. Those are some. Um, 
and the uh, what what are the little things the little the places that replace the contest buildings for the first three things uh, I'll challenge those and then I, I'm gonna do a big old grind big old grind and just completely own the Pokemon um, the Pokemon uh, the the battle frontier yeah that's it yeah remember that tweet still valid yeah still valid because I I think I'm actually gonna do it. I think I'm legitimately gonna just spend a week pretending it's a certain era, and maybe I'll play an old Pokemon game, and maybe I'll record stuff, and maybe it just makes a video. Who knows? The Battle Tents. Oh, that's what they're called. Yeah, I'll be I'll be going through the Battle Tents, and I'll do that as I'll do that as like one thing. Mods punt the Poochie in <laughs> Hey, Nomad Nobi with the blue. Yeah, that, I think that, that's got to be one of my favorite colors. I, I say, I was saying, I love that color. The Aqua, the Aqua Blue, the Totodile Blue, the Gator X Thumbnail Border Blue Super Chat, who says, Oof, I missed it, didn't I? Lol. It's alright. I mean, it was a hard-fought battle. It's it's alright. No problem. But thanks for popping in and saying hi, for sure. Here, I'll show you the, uh, I'll show you the league. I'll show you the little champion screen. Here, where it is? Where is it? I think it got here maybe ten minutes. Wait, I'll sh I'll show you. I'll show you the. So this was the final team here. I'll show you. We had Echo the Flygon, Verde the Sceptile, Pato the Ludicolo, Kombu the Kecleon, Mossy the Breloom, and Bozo the Rayquaza, which which was there for backup and kind of really helped out near the end. So that, that was it. It's a pretty beautiful, pretty beautiful Hall of Fame screen. Yeah, yeah, all I missed was Gator spamming Revival Herbs and making the starter do all the work. Well, de like, Verde definitely put it, really put in work. And honestly, those Revival Herbs come in clutch. <laughs> what, a, what a favorite item. You love Gen 3 a lot, hope you had fun. Yeah, definitely had fun. It was, it was definitely a long one, and I, def I see why people... I see why people really love Emerald. I mean, I I loved it, but this uh, this is like my first time playing Pokemon Emerald in years. Oops, all green. Oh yeah, it was all green. That was a plan. Um, so yeah, yeah, like I said, green uh, Pokemon Emerald. It's it, I see why people play it and say like this is the game to Nuzlocke because it's already hard. It's already like more. It's already pretty hard. And so yeah, yeah. Why fifty percent of ROM hacks are Emerald? Yeah. So like, what if we make it even crazier? 49 are Fire Red, and at least one is the other game, yep. Speaking of which, I hopefully will stream Fire Red soon. Uh, probably not the next immediate thing. But, uh, because I, you know, I want to, I got to pick up, uh, I don't own Fire Red or Leaf Green. So I got to pick up a, a cartridge. So I can, so I could use it for the stream. And of course, add it to my collection. I, uh, like I said, uh, it's past April, so we already had, we are, I already did, um, I already paid my taxes. So now I'm pretty free, pretty open to start, you know, spending more money on extra stuff. On, well, not extra stuff, because this technically counts as work stuff, right? Uh, so then I can, and, you know, not just the fire red, but, you know, other things. Because uh, I think also I'll, I, I really, I really do need to get a new capture card to use, to use for the streams. And uh, eventually, we gotta get a new, not gotta, but eventually, I'd like to get a new other stuff. It's like, obviously I don't want all of it at once, but it's like, okay, in terms of equipment, right? Uh, I have a good computer, but I would really like to just, I, I use a gaming laptop just for my streams. Um, but I really would like to just, you know, because I had this, I, I had this back from when I, before I moved out, right? So it's like, oh. Well, it makes sense to just have a gaming laptop. It's like ah, I need to I need to get a desktop PC now that I obviously have my own place and I can just really start setting it up. So eventually, probably not this year, maybe next year I'll get the new computer. This year though, I would like to get a new iPad for editing, which I used an iPad to edit my videos. Um, I'd want to get a new one. I don't think I'll get the Pro, even though the Pro is really cool and really nice. Um, 
it's, but that's not okay. The PC probably next year. The iPad hopefully later this year. The capture card I think I really need to get that ASAP. Um, so those are like the three main things that I need to you know get. Already paid taxes. Yes, I did. And I, well, I was I was gonna give tax advice or something like that, but I'm like, I pay a little. Well, I I have a I have um an accountant to help me out with it. So technically, I don't even really. It, it's not. It's never good work for me. All right, not good work. It's never a lot of work for me. So I literally just send him all my stuff, and he files it for me, and I pay him. Uh, but it takes a lot of the stress off me, and also he helps me out with a lot of stuff. So. I will advise that if you if you can to <laughs> find someone to do that. Um, but in terms of other streams, uh, I do yeah we got Poke Park that'll eventually uh, probably around the summer. We got Poke there are Poke Park two got to play through Poke Park two. I still have all the Pokemon Rangers also on the Wii U which we got to play. Um, I still have that copy of Let's Go Eevee. Could always do another run of like Scarlet, Violet, Sword Shield, one of those games. Maybe some more TCG streams. I don't know if I'll do those Friday. Uh, and then we can always go back to other spin-off games. So there's a lot. There's a lot more to go. Uh, I would like to stream Fire Red Leaf Green at some point in this year, but I think that will be after I uh, acquire it, obviously. You love Fire Red Leaf Green. Always end up having a Raichu with Thunderbolt, Brick Break, Mega Kick, and Flash on it. <laughs> nice. Dude, Raichu is actually such a good choice for it. Wall of Spam, double team with his Looty Color to raise his tax evasion stat. <laughs> yeah, good coverage. Yeah, see ya, Gator. Alright, yeah. I think that's just about everything I want to say. Scarlet won't run with all dogs. We did the we did the Violet run with all uh with all dogs. Well dogs and cats. <laughs> That was the that was the Kira thing. And honestly, I'll probably hopefully uh I really start want to start working on more big videos. As in like, you know, videos that take a week to make, basically basically take a week to make and end up being like 20 minutes at the end of it, at least 20 minutes long. So <laughs> that's uh I I'm gonna be working on those also. Hopefully. It's gonna be good. It's really good. We got a lot of stuff planned. But yeah, I think that's about it. I'm gonna wrap it up because now it's sunset, so now it's getting a little warmer. And I'm still wearing a hoodie from when I was out today. But Coco's a funny looking dog. By the way, have you started streaming on weekends along with Friday? Been noticing that recently? Mm, no, just on Friday. Um, so far. Un unless you mean like because what happens when you stream, I noticed, is that, like, so when I stream, I stream on Friday, right? And then after I finish the stream, and the stream, it, you know, saves it as a video, but it's still processing. So what happens is that come Saturday morning, it'll finish processing, and then it'll kind of, like, be posted extra to the subscription fee. If that, if that makes sense, that's kind of how I would explain it. Something like that. Point is, is that I only stream on Friday, currently. But it ends up popping up in the sub in the subscription feed on Saturday, also. Uh, so maybe maybe that's what you're noticing. If I did an extra stream, I'd probably do Wednesday, Wednesday or, or Tuesday, probably Wednesday. For the sake of finality of greenery, plus another green fame on today. All right. <laughs> so yeah. Next week, though, uh, I don't think I'm going to start another full series next week. I think next week I'll do kind of a casual stream. I Maybe I'll go back and play some more um, Pokemon Pinball, Ruby, and Sapphire. Because uh, that... So that might be... Oh, you thought you remember seeing the live icon in the thumbnail? Oh, huh. Perhaps. So yeah, that, that's probably what I'll do next week. I kind of want to just play uh, some Pokemon Pinball, Ruby, Sapphire. Um, yeah, I, next next week is going to be like a one-off kind of stream, and then May, the first Friday of May, I kind of want to do a different kind of stream, like something possibly for Star Wars Day, because Star Wars Day is next week. Oh, whoa, 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 I did not mean to hit my mic, I'm sorry. Uh, and then, and then probably sometime in May, we'll start the, I'll start the next, like, playthrough, next, uh, 
series, where it'll be like, oh, multiple parts all in one. Yeah, another good of Rake Friday. Get Eric's and everyone here. The green day tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, thank you everyone for joining. That was like, it had a lot of people. I think it had, had a lot of people way more than usual. Thank you, everyone. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and do, um, I'm gonna do this thing where I add source. Here, while I'm wrapping it up, while I'm wrapping it up, I'm gonna do, um, Where, what am I looking for? Is this the one I'm... Yeah, that's it. While I'm wrapping up, let me just pull this up. Thank you, everyone, for the support during the stream. Thank you, Justin Dows, for the, um... For the member renewal. Thank you, Legend Greninja, for the blue super chat. Thank you, Taijirai, for the big orange super chat. The Nickelodeon orange. Thank you, uh, No Man Nobi, for the blue super chat as well. We got the Totodile blue and the Nickelodeon orange ones. <laughs> Thank you again, much appreciated. Yeah, see, this is what the this is what the live chat looks like for me at the at the end of it. Yeah, may the fourth be with you. So anyway, uh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> don't want you to see that one. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna be wrapping things up. Uh, that's the plan. That's the plan for next week, probably. And I'll, I'll catch you in some other videos. Uh, but anyway, thank you so much for watching. See you all. Uh, I'll see you in the next stream. Uh, see you in the next videos. Probably another video Sunday. Uh, and I'll try to get back to some shorts as well. Anyway, this is Getterx. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you all later. Go to the end screen. Go to the cool end screen. Hey, wait, you can't do that. You can't avoid me. I saw that. I didn't officially end the stream. I saw that. I saw that quick green super chat from Taijirai. The green. All right, all right. Let me just come back to make that shout out real quick. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah, I got to go, but thank you so much. All right. Anyway, I'll catch you all later. <laughs>